Hello everyone, welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. I'm Rob. I'm Mel. And we're here to play more Lord of the Rings, the card game. Hello, hello. Hello. Hey, Brian, happy Monday. Happy Monday. Or, oh, happy Monday, question mark. I'm, yeah. So far, so good. So far, so good. Uh, how's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. Thanks for all the people clicking the like button on the last video. Oh, I see I messed something up. Play around. Yeah, what the heck? It's funny, I don't see anything. Yeah, watch this. I like. Oh. Sometimes when I'm like clicking around and dragging things, it's like, I don't know, it doesn't make any sense. I changed the size of the background somehow. Woo. Hey, Mitch, hello. Hello, hello. I don't know how that happened. Oh, Brian says it's a Monday. Not sure they're ever happy as it's the start of the work week. Agreed. That's true. They're not ever happy, but I mean, we made it through. Mm hmm. Michael, happy Eclipse Day. Yes. That was cool to see. Alrighty. Let's get some, let's get the reading out of the way. The torture. The torture for those who want to watch me stumble through this. So we're playing scenario two today. If you missed scenario one, check out the playlist that is included in the video description down below. You'll have to expand it and then find the link in there. Um, the difficulty level of this one's four. Oh, it's easier than the one we played. Yes, yeah, easier than the one we played last time. So should we still go full easy like we chickened out and didn't do last time? Maybe? Up to you. I don't know. Let's read about it and see what we'll think about it while you read. Like the sleazy thing was fine. It made it exciting. We almost lost, maybe. Yeah, it was maybe we didn't there. really, though. I don't know. Probably wasn't really, but I don't know. But again... First playthrough, sometimes we don't know what we're doing. So this is the fate of Numenor. Uh, the sky was bathed in a beautiful sunrise, the bright orange sun rising over the peak of the mountain, just as Calfin had described. Land ho! A sailor shouted, and the fleet buzzed with activity. The island was large, dominated in its center by the peak of what must have been a tall mountain. Deep in the island's dense jungle were broken towers and ancient ruins. So it does exist, Calfin whispered as he reached the... Uh, as he reached the bow of the ship looking out to the island with great relief. I'm glad I did not lead us to the middle of Belagair Bella for naught. I'm not saying that right. I know I'm not. Uh, the hero shared Calfin's relief but had always suspected the island was real as the wise Sirdan would otherwise not have sent them on such a dangerous voyage. The ships were anchored off the west coast of the island and the crews lowered small canoes Onto the surface of the ocean, the company prepared to disembark and make their way to the shore, arming themselves in case the island proved dangerous and making sure to take enough rations for several days. You should stay here, one of the heroes told Calfin as they prepared to leave. You've done your part in helping us find the island. Now it is time for us to do ours. Calfin shook his head and refused, determined. No, I must go with you, he explained. I may not be able to lead us once we are on the island, but I've spent the better part of a year envisioning this day. I need to set foot on that shore and see the ruins of Numenor for myself. The heroes looked amongst themselves with worry, but none could bring themselves to refuse Calvin's request. We know not what secrets or dangers the island may hold, one of them said, but if this be your will, we shall honor it and protect you. Calvin nodded without deliberation. The company boarded the smaller vessels and set forth, rowing in the direction of the uncharted shore. So we're basically playing Seventh Continent. We're going to some mysterious island, and it's going to kill us. Or we're playing Arkham Horror. I think it's a Forgotten Age, the one that's like Indiana Jones, Cthulhu version. I'm getting those vibes. That's the vibes I'm getting here. Uh, set up. The Fate of Numenor encounter deck is built with all the cards from the following encounter sets. Basically... Just itself and then these two other ones. So we're not sailing this time. I kind of peeked at stuff and got all the cards out. And notice no ships are involved, no setting up our fleet like last one. Okay. So as we're as the story obviously makes obvious, we're on a island here now. We're on land. So campaign setup. When setting up the scenario in a campaign mode, we have the following additional cards, a spyglass, revenant, and every card in the campaign pool. 
which the only one we brought on the campaign pool was Ominous Fate from last time, that stupid event that's going to scale and be twice as bad this time because oh, yeah, we're, we're on part two. We're on part two, yes. Oh, super. Uh, and we'll look at that in a second when we get down to the table. Uh, Uncharted is something we need to know. There's a new keyword for this scenario. And it's on a bunch of cards. Uncharted is a new keyword that appears on some locations in this expansion. Uncharted's locations, uh, Uncharted locations represent unknown areas of Middle Earth, untouched and unexplored during this age of the world. As such, the players do not know what to expect when traveling to them. These locations are double-sided. One side is called Lost Island and has the Uncharted keyword. Uncharted locations are always added to the staging area with the Lost Island side face up without looking at the other side of the card. Locations with Uncharted keyword, with the Uncharted keyword, do not have quest points and cannot be explored by placing progress on them, although progress may still be placed on them in order to trigger their action ability. And we'll look at one of these cards, it'll make sense. I read this like three times, I was like, I, I don't get what ta why, why is this doing this? Um, so yeah, we'll figure it out as we play it too. Uh, each copy of Lost Island has the following text. Forced, after Lost Island becomes the active location, Flip it over. Thus, by traveling to an uncharted location, the players can discover what kind of location it really is, flipping it over to its other side. Flipping over an uncharted location removes all progress from it, and once flipped, it functions as a normal location with the following exceptions. Double-sided locations cannot enter the counter deck, obviously, because you'll see them. They don't have a card back, uh, like the same card back as the other cards. If a double-sided location would ever enter this card pile, instead, shuffle back into the uncharted deck. And then it says, Lost Island Side Face Up. So again, so you don't know what it is. We've seen the same thing used in Arkham Horror LCG a bunch. Yeah. Um, you know, a bunch of cards are all the same on one side, and on the back are a bunch of locations we're trying to find our way and flip the cards over, and you know, it's, it reminds me so much of that. Um, and then each copy of Lost Island also has the following text, action. So this is why you might want to place progress on them when they're sitting in the staging area face down and you don't know what they are. You can do this action to remove four progress tokens from them. So if you have any tricky ways to put progress on locations in the staging area, this is a scenario to use it because it lets you peek at the face down side. That's it. Okay. You just, just to know where to try because sometimes you really want to go to a specific one because on the back, they're all, all the same. So it's like, you don't care which one you, is sitting in there, but you care when you go, go to it. Some of them are really bad, I would assume. Um, and some we probably want to get to, right? Um, and then it says many locations on the other side of an uncharted location have a forced effects that uh, trigger after they're flipped. After flipping an uncharted location, make sure to check the newly flipped location for any such effects. Note that looking at a face down side of an uncharted location does not trigger any of those effects. Note that all copies of Lost Island have the Ruins of Numenor encounter set icon, but they come from different encounter sets. That's just so you don't know what's coming. And we, again, Arkham Horror, we've already seen this exact same uh, little mechanic of locations that all look the same but they're all different from different encounter sets so preparing the uncharted deck uh when they're using this scenario basically it'll tell you to prepare it you grab all the double side locations that have the lost island thing on it and put them all together shuffle them no matter which scenario you're playing with whatever ones you have and then you kind of go from there so we're not read the rest okay so i've grabbed all the lost islands um uh, yeah, and there was also this one, but then it told me that this one needs to be set aside, which I'll show you in a sec. So I, I took it out in advance, so I don't accidentally leave it in. All right, so again, on my great fan-made reference sheet and my my own personal duct taped on the back here, uh, you know, um, we have to shuffle our decks and set up. So we do it in kind of order for when we're playing our campaigns. And then we need to place heroes and initial threat levels. Don't oh, yep, my threat's still the same as last time. 32, right? I reset my mind 31. Okay. And then we just set up the token bank. Done. Determine first player. Oh, yeah. Can we choose or does that... We can choose, right? I don't know. I think it's random. It just says here, determine first player. I don't know if you... I don't know if it's random or who cares. It just determine it. I don't know. Um, I'll go first. Okay. You're a first player. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, uh, Brian's asking, anyone get their superpowers yet from the Eclipse? So if you're watching this later, today was like a full, it's called like a full solar eclipse? Yeah, total solar eclipse. Total solar eclipse. Okay, and, and some areas could see that at different times and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, and you weren't supposed to look at it, you're supposed to look through these like special glasses or whatever. Um, so yeah, anytime I make a mistake today, <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna blame it on the fact that I look directly in the sun and I can't read the cards. Okay, that, that's that's what I'm going with. Okay, <laughs> I'll just be like, oh man, I should have never looked at the sun. I would have remembered how this card worked. I would have been able to read it, but then I just read that whole thing from the book before the start, so I gave up. That joke was ruined. Damn it! No, it might be like a blurred vision, right? It comes in and out. Oh that's yeah, right, that's right? right. Yeah, so I'll blame it on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That works. <laughs> And Michael R says, I got supervision. Everything I see has a glow around it, and my eyes keep watering. <laughs> How'd you get that checked out? <laughs> hey, Emmy, how's it going? Hey. Uh, Emmy's asking how you find the sailing mechanics. Some people didn't like them when the cycle first came out. I like it. Uh, the sailing mechanics, specifically just doing the extra little test. I already made a comment about it when we played in the first one. Not a big deal, but it, it, I don't know. Questing is my least favorite phase and part of the game. I hate having to be forced to exhaust things before you get to the fun combat side of things, right? That puzzle. And it kind of sucks the way we play two-player. Like, we basically always have one deck that's, like, all questing, one deck that's all fighting. And we're okay with it, I think. Yeah. I always give Mel the option. If you want to play this deck, you can. I, I give her the option to play either one every time. Um, and, yeah, I've always not really been into the questing. Especially if you play true solo. And that's the way I played a bit when I first was learning it. Oh. And I was like, yeah, this is annoying having to dedicate people to the quest. I understand why it exists and, and it's fun to make progress in the scenario, but like, yeah, sometimes you have these awesome units and you're like, I want to save these units for fighting. It's that, it's that push and pull. And I know it's part of the beauty of the whole game. It's, it's the sum, part of the puzzle. It's some of all its parts, right? But mm -hmm. that one part's annoying. And the sailing part is just adds another little tiny annoying thing on that. But we've played so many of these LCGs and it's not the first time we've seen that kind of mechanic, adding an extra little test. Uh, drawing cards for successes. We've seen that in board games and card games for the last however many years. So for me, it's fine. You got to do something every cycle to kind of spice it up. And it's okay. I like it. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. I don't know. I'm fine with it. But yeah. Yeah. I do like the Corsair deck thing and the boarding keyword. I think that's hilarious. The way if a ship comes, you know, and, and engages you, it's like, it's it's stinky pirates all jump off of it and trying to kill you. Yeah. I think that's a very cool and thematic way to do things. Yeah. Am I going to forget which discard pile to put said cards in all the time and mess up my whole playthrough? Yeah, probably. But still, in, on paper, it's fun. <laughs> what if you add both of those mechanics together and call it, instead of saying like the ship mechanic part of the, yeah. where you're adding like the sailing test plus the... Uh, boarding keyword and like the Corsair deck, like all together as one. What do you mean? Mechanic. Instead of instead of separating them both out, if you put them together and you think about them as as a together mechanic, do you like that better? Well, I think the sailing. He's just talking about the sailing test because the sailing keyword mm -hmm. is tied to the sailing mechanic, which is that whole testing thing. Yeah. But I just like the boarding thing from this mm -hmm. scenario. I was talking completely separate though. Yeah. I like the boarding keyword is great, which is. I guess unrelated, but related. No, it's related. That's all I was. Saying. I don't. Know. I think it's both cool. I like it. But yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I think I'm gonna keep this. This attachment is like my number one key card for the game. I guess before we should have done that, the reason why I laid these out was to remind us that we have experience. And, oh, yeah. and I wanted to talk about it. Mel and I were talking about it between episodes. <clears throat> the way we read, uh, we could spend experience, you know, after a scenario, before a scenario, whatever, but not during. Uh, and I did print out the campaign log. Um, so we have all our listed cards here that could be upgraded where we can spend our experience. We got two experience last time. So, for example, we could spend two XP uh, right now on enlarged quarters right there, you know, and we can spend it on it, spend two, we can spend one, spread out our two, big, big pot of two experience, 
Uh, but if we spend a full two on, let's say, enlarged quarters, we can flip it over and now we can use it on its better side, getting an additional ability, right? Um, or, since we're not using these upgrades in this scenario and not using boats yet, we have the chance to spend experience in this boat. You know, Mel and I were like, let's just get, you know, upgrade something and flip it. But we also, for example, we could upgrade the Dream Chaser ship objective by spending 4 XP. We can only spend 2 right now, but we could flip it to this upgraded side, which I think is better stats, better ability, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it counts as 3 characters, for example. Okay. We could do that to flip this over. We can't get there yet. We could put the effort into it. But look how many options there are. And then I said, let's just not spend any experience yet since we're not using ships right now. So let's not upgrade their attachments or whatever. And we wait till after this scenario, which might give us more cards from this list to choose from. Mm -hmm. um, which I know Spyglass is in this set, oh, which yeah. I, I don't know what it is, but I saw it on the list. And in the setup, it told me to grab that card. So we're going to have a Spyglass to look at, which needs three experience to flip over. So we have all these cards, all the boats, all the upgrades so far we've seen. And uh, is there... What is the other one? There is bad cards too, I think, based on what we were reading. And I don't know what some of these are, and I'm sure we're going to see some of these cards as we go. And then we have these scalable cards up here. Which I don't remember. I think you spend XP in those too, right? Uh, I don't remember. I, exactly. When... I'm sure when they throw these at us, we'll know what we're doing. Um, but yeah, maybe we... I know we only got 2 XP, so maybe we just save it. I mean, that's not a bad idea. And next time we know we need the boats, maybe we look at spending it on it. Or maybe today, after we see some new cards, we're like, oh, for sure, let's spend it on that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I just want to throw that out there. The story may also give us a direction that we want to go with yeah. that as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we don't need that stuff. This is from the campaign pool. This will be shuffled in the deck, which I'll do that in a sec. Oh, yeah, sorry. Back to this. Oh, I think I'm going to keep my hand. Hmm. So are we doing a full easy? Oh yeah, I guess it's up to you. No, it's up to you. I mean, how we had it. I made my decision last time and tried it. Whatever you want well, to do. Well, this is an easier scenario, so maybe. Is we it try... though? Well, you're trusting. Based on... You're trusting the designers who put or the developers the, or the do you play have testers. That thing open where people read it. Oh yeah. <laughs> if you don't have it open, don't look. True. Uh, yeah. Because maybe if people are also saying it's the same. Quest by cycle. And we're on the Dream Chaser somewhere in here. Grey Havens? Uh, raid on the Grey Havens. No, nope. we're down one more. Right? Aren't we? Uh oh. oh. Is this out of order? Or, or, oh, is that a, like an a add on one you slide in? Or did I mess something up? Hold what on. Are we on? Let's see. Check in the book in front of me. Scenario two is Fate of Numenor. Yeah. Yeah, there's no oh, typo. Oh, maybe just listed there wrong? Oh, scenario three is Raid on the Grey Havens. In, in this book, in the reprint. Uh, so it's just out of order in here. Okay. Uh, oh, they say... So official was five. The fan said, um, no. <laughs> um, and then Fantasy Flight Games actually updated in the reprint to say it's actually a four. Okay, since that's the case, I think we go with the... The lazy that we did last time. So we take one money, but I've removed all the yeah. difficult cards out of the deck? Yeah. Okay. I think so. Nobody wants difficult cards in the deck. Hey, girly gamer, how's it going? Hey. All right, so I want to just look at this. Uh, Surge, Doom, Uncharted, I already read all that. Preparing the Uncharted deck. Uh, all that's good. Yeah, okay. Hi, Matthew. So, uh, in that case, I will just keep what I have. I'm going to keep what I have. I think, yeah, sure. I'll keep what I have. And then, uh, next is set quest cards, so we'll do that. I know we shouldn't be taking resources right this second, but 
we'll do that. And then uh, quest cards, okay. That's weird. Set quest cards, follow campaign mode setup. Uh, yeah. Fate of Numenor. You're playing campaign mode. We're in the Dream Chaser Part 2. Set up. Attach Spyglass to Calfin. Fate of Numenor. One willpower, zero attack, one defense, three health. Gondor Noble. The first player gains control of Calfin. Action Exhaust Calfin to look at the bottom card of your deck. Then you may switch that card with a card in your hand. Interesting. Okay, he can stay. And what's Spyglass do that we're supposed to attach to him? Oh, there's cool art on it. Uh, when Spyglass leaves play, remove it from the game. Action, exhaust Spyglass to choose one. Look at a shadow card. Look at the top and bottom card of your deck. Or place one progress on a location. Two instead if it's uncharted. So this, oh, helps, so this us. helps us get progress. This is another way to put progress on. He can help us peek at some of those cards where, where they're sitting in the staging area. So we we make more informed choices. That okay, is cool. So like the boon also has an upgraded side. So yeah, as we showed there. Oh, this one takes three to upgrade. And this one we pass back and forth, right? As we. I don't know. Because it's the first player. Well. Hold on. Is it like um, Frodo? Remember when we had Frodo and it's like the first person? Yeah, uh, if it says it on him, the first player gains control? Yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. I, I didn't read that part, or did I? I don't I, know. I think, Maybe I read it, but wasn't thinking. That's okay. Yeah, so we will pass that back and forth. So that is technically like our first player token. Okay. Unless he goes away, then we'll replace him well, with the real first player token. Then we lose the game if he goes away. Yeah, so we just lose and who cares then? Yeah. <laughs> Attach this to him. Shuffle Reverend into the counter deck. Okay. So that is... Ooh, this evil mofo, a burden, undead, immune to player card effects, revenant, 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 gets plus two attack, plus two defense for each resource on the campaign card. Forced when three or more damage will be placed on revenant, place two damage instead. <laughs> Forced after revenant is destroyed, shuffle it into the encounter deck and place one resource on the campaign card. Oh, wow. So every time we see him and fight him, he gets stronger. More annoying. It's like a Dark Souls boss to me. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah, he looks like he's right from Dark Souls. Yeah. Okay, so he's getting shuffled in. That's great. That's super. Okay, I'll shuffle that in a sec. Uh, and then for each character in play, which we have technically seven characters in play, its controller may deal one damage to it to reduce their threat by one. So what I think it's doing here is this scenario could go long as we're lost in an effing jungle in uncharted lands trying to dig through the uncharted deck to find where the hell we're going. I feel like it could be an endless loop and this this guy that I just read, he plays right along with that because I'm assuming we're going to be here so damn long and we put on easy mode so the deck's smaller. So we're going to see this guy more often or sleazy mode I should say. Uh, that this guy is going to come back around because we're going to be going through cards after cards after cards maybe. I don't know. And we could be here for a while. And since we know that some of these go back and shuffle back into this deck, if they get discarded, means this deck kind of never ends. Which is super thematic if that's the case. And again, on these Lost Islands, they have Uncharted, can't have player card attachments, and then Forest Lost, it becomes an active location, you flip it over. Uh, let's just do one to yeah, show it. Yeah, we'll one just so we know what we're talking about here. So, if you notice, they're all the same on this side. So, they have two threat and then no progress number, right? And then a yeah. fake a fake encounter symbol to trick you, right? Okay. That they're all the same. Uh, but then they flip over and they have varying threats, I assume. Varying, um, I forget what this value is called. Quest points, I think it's called. Quest points. Uh, I don't know. Um, while Flooded Ruins is in the active... A look, uh, is in the active location and contributes its threat to the staging area. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so those are the type of things that... Yeah. Okay. So this is why we might want to peek at them, because maybe we don't want this one anywhere around us. We'd pr prefer not to go there, let's say. And we don't mind just leaving it in the staging area, only costing two instead of... Three. Oh my god, it would be three, and it's five to get through, and it's going to add and make the scenario much longer, and blah, blah, blah. That's funny. Yeah. Okay, I'm excited for this one. Yeah, it seems neat. Hopefully it works. Um... So this is giving the option to start throwing damage on our characters to reduce our threat. 
basically increasing the game timer for the game. I am not going to do this. 737 Max, sir, thank you for subscribing. Thank you, welcome. Uh, can you two introduce some frosty research? It's just finished scenario one. Uh, I don't want to go into a side rant about Frosthaven. I don't want to talk about the game today. I don't really want to talk about the game ever again. No, I'm just joking. We have not finished. Yeah, we've not, answer, yeah, we've not yeah. finished. Uh, but as you've seen, uh, we've played 50 something episodes on the channel, I think. I Four, think so. 40 something, something like 50 that. something. Yeah, a lot. Uh, and I, I'm not forced to play anything on the channel. Uh, I choose what I want to play, especially lately. Um, so read between the lines. If it's not for you, it's not for you. But don't come to me asking me if you should play or not. Because <laughs> not every game's for you. I will never tell you you need to play this game, you need to buy this game, whatever. Because everyone's tastes are different. So do your research. If you've already played it and you're like, it may not be for me, get rid of it. There's too many great games out there. Again, great is an opinion thing, right? Yeah, What's great to me is trash to you. Who knows? So, but uh, yeah. And this game compared to Frosthaven, I would never compare it to Frosthaven. So yeah, there you go. But you do say though, <laughs> you do say like, you're not sure if you can, you should continue or not. Yeah. If that was me... All I would say is maybe I would give it another scenario or two just to see if I'm yeah. into it or not. Like yeah. I wouldn't just give up in, on scenario one. Yeah. Um, but that's my opinion. Yeah, and try uh, try different classes. And if you already play Gloomhaven, oh yeah, it's, I guess that's it's the same kind. Thing. You already know, like if yeah. you loved Gloomhaven, Frosthaven is more of it mm -hmm. with some twists that may or may not be great depending on what you like. So yeah. I don't know what to tell you there. But yeah, I can't make the choice for you, and don't put that on me. <laughs> Don't even try to put it on me. I'm not responsible for <laughs> oh, what you your play. Your issue is set up and clean up. I get it. Yeah. It's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So you have to love the game in order to, to go through that. And I do, which is why I don't mind. And I still stand by what I said when Frosty was introduced on crowdfunding. If there was a digital version announced and in the works being added to the digital Gloomhaven and Gloomhaven Jaws of Lion, I would have never bought the physical version. And I bought the physical version also knowing that they were going to come out with the books, the oh, big yeah. books that you could play out of, just like Jaws and the Lion. And they announced those books were going to be made. Don't worry, guys. We'll get you later in the in the pledge manager. That never was done. Mm -hmm. And the and the product kept getting delayed, too. And that still wasn't added. So we played through it the whole time without those books, and I think those books were eventually added to some other crowdfunding campaign. Yeah, but not delivered yet, still. Which is all trash. Yeah. That publisher is, like, not the greatest uh, for many reasons. But, um, yeah, so... I wish there was a digital version of Frosthaven. And if they announced the digital version in the middle of me playing the physical one, I would have thrown my copy in the garbage. Because playing digital Gloomhaven is like, spoiled me. It's so fun. Yes. Physical is fine, but the Frosthaven twist on it and, and all that extra fluff and the extra length and setup and teardown and you're not even, you haven't even popped open a bunch of envelopes yet that are going to make it even longer. <laughs> Bookkeeping and teardown and clean it. Yeah, it's yeah. like... Yeah, yeah. I wish. I wish. Oh, Janice just received. Okay, Janice just received the playbook. This oh, weekend, that's, this weekend. that's nice, Janice. Oh, oh Janice. that's good. Oh, that's why you posted in the Discord and said you can finally start playing. I get yeah, it. See, I, get, I, didn't, I didn't zoom the picture to know. And this is why also I'm famous for saying good <laughs> things come to those who wait. Yes. Uh, and playing a game well after it was released and well after the hype, sometimes you're playing the better version of the game and you're actually having the better experience. Yes. Hence, here I am playing this scenario uh, from this campaign, from this card game, which was released, I don't know, what, like 10 years ago? I don't even know when this <laughs> scenario was released, but I'm not about the new stuff anymore. It's no. like, who cares, man? Just play good stuff. Play it when you want. There's no FOMO here. Stop. Stop with the FOMO. Anyways. Janet, let us know how you like that, playing it out of the books. Yeah. Thoughts, fumbling around. Yeah, yeah. Let us know. Those books, I know they're good. We did them in Jaws yeah, of the Lion. True. And it was like, all right, this is the way this game needs so to be. So much better. But they didn't want to do that. And the excuse was, another stupid thing that publishers said was like, uh, well, I like it having all the bits and stuff so people can make custom scenarios and use all the parts to make the, the, their custom stuff. Okay. Yeah. So, so those like three people who want to take the stuff in, in, in Frosthaven who are so bored with the 4,000 scenarios, all designed by 20 different designers and all that stuff. He's so bored with all the 80, 88 classes mixed with all the scenario, you know, whatever, right? I'm just throwing out random numbers. I know they're not accurate. Uh, try not to spoil too much or anything, but 
it's like all of that and you're the the fan you're worried about pleasing it's like i call bs right it's always comes down to like money and like oh, yeah. you know we just want to cookie cutter the same game with some twists and sell it to you again and make a few more million you know yeah but uh it's like man do what the fans want and, and you would have made even more money i think but anyways all right enough about frosty man. yes there's your rant there's your rant for today you know, and even though he said i'm not gonna I, do it i know i always start with i don't really want to talk about it but then it's like i can't help it just yeah stick it in there <laughs> you guys know you're welcome all right <laughs> Anyways. so back to this game which again it's like yeah yeah <laughs> yeah no problem maxter no problem <laughs> uh, so are you do you want to damage any of your characters to reduce your threat by one i don't think i'm going to i feel like we should yeah, but I already have so many ways to reduce. Like, I think I have three cards that reduce my threat by three every time, and I can cycle them. But I don't. Yeah, so you... And also, you have healing all in your deck. So... Yeah. I'm not I'm in... scared. Yeah, you go ahead. I'm just saying I don't think I'm going I'm going to do it. Let's get crazy. I think I ended the scenario, like, two above what my actual starting was last time. Are you doing one for each one? No. Okay. I'll just do two. Okay. So I'm going to lower my threat by two. You started on 20. You don't want to put damage on this guy? No. <laughs> it's okay. But he's a character, so we, the can, right we, answer. we can heal this character because he's an ally. I think we can heal him. Oh, but it says, no, it doesn't say immune to card effects. Okay, we can heal him. Or I can. Okay. All right. I think that's everything on the little campaign setup. Two quest cards that we set. So, explore the island, the fate of Numenor. You arrive on the island's western beach, the edge of a dense jungle looming beyond. With no map to guide you and no idea of what to expect, you venture forward deeper into the island. Set up. So this is why I set that other card aside that I thought was in the deck. Uh, set Shrine to Morgoth aside out of play. Okay, so this is one of those Lost Island cards I'm assuming, again, playing Arkham Horror scenarios or whatever else. Other board games, it's like, you know this is getting shuffled and you know we need to find this eventually, yeah. right? Uh, so this is going to get set off to the side. I'll set it aside face up so I don't accidentally mix it in the deck. That'll be right beside it. Uh, okay, and then um, prepare the Uncharted deck. Okay, that's just literally put them all together and shuffle. Okay, oh, is that like 10 cards? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay. And then it says add two of them from the top of this deck to the staging area. Three instead if there are three or more players in the game. And the first player takes control of Calfin and then shuffle the encounter deck. Okay, and that's the first part. I'll flip that over in a sec. Uh, so I'll do the deck just like I did the Corsair deck. I'll, I'll put that over to the side here. And then we're putting two in the staging area. So we already have four threat in the staging area. Okay. We don't know what's on the back of those. Fun, fun, fun. And then I'm going to shuffle this. And we have not played this one, so I know, other than that one you just showed, I don't know what on the back I end. only know what I read from here, and these Lost Island cards I did peek at a few earlier, because I was trying to understand why they were double-sided. I, I started sleeving them and then realized, oh crap, they're not part of it. I even had to dig some out of the encounter deck oh I was putting, because they were just mixed in the set, yeah, yeah. and I wasn't looking at the back of all the cards. Uh, so then I was like, what the hell are these? And I'm reading this, and I'm reading this, and I'm like, I don't know why there's these double-sided cards, and why they're mixed in, and like why their set symbols are all messed. And I was like freaking out that I'm like, oh yeah, there's another thing I can look at. The book. And then I read in there, I was reading the Uncharted thing. I literally sat here probably 20 minutes trying to understand what's going on, like unsleeving things. And I was like, okay, I think I understand it. And then I ran to Mel with the Lost Island cards. I'm like, hey, here's how it works. Uh, this is what I know for the scenario. If you want to side deck some stuff in or whatever, that's all I'm going to tell you. Yeah, which I did actually side deck in this one. So this was in my list under the side deck. So this is after attached hero commits to a quest, discard a card from your hand to place two progress on the active location. So location heavy, I don't know, just another way to put some progress on a location after they commit to the quest. So potentially that could be enough to clear it before we even need to, before we even finish our quest. I don't know. We'll see how that works. So but. you put that in the deck? Did you remove anything no. when you side decked in? No. So you're just going with, uh, I have so much draw, yeah. and I'm going to draw through my whole deck in this game. I don't care if it's like... I want all the cards. So we just lost like probably eight viewers, got a few dislikes from people who like optimize deck building and understand the statistics of like drawing a deck and seeing the cards you need and all that. So I apologize. Again, we're playing casual. Um, 
Mel knows better. <laughs> but she's being lazy or like no, just, no. just knows she's drawing and it's all good. Yeah, I've got lots of draw. I cycle my, my deck. I can, you know, I'm good. I think I'll see it eventually. Mm -hmm. I'll see it eventually. And I, the one card I was hoping for mainly, I did get. Right off the hook. Oh. I didn't need to mulligan for it. So I'm set. And you got the horse already too? I got the horse already. I got some attach. I got this, which we can put on that thing. I got, this was a good hand. Mm. I drop shuffled little, it and everything. A little too good. No, no, no. It's all a documented. My drop good. shuffle and then my shuffle. Mm. I'm just lucky that way, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's flip this guy. Progress. Okay, so it's is one B. Twenty is the quest pointer thing on here. They're gonna be here for a little while. Buckle in, everyone. It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> oh no! Progress cannot be placed on. Explore the island, except by quest effects. Quest. Oh, okay. Okay. Quest effects. Okay. I don't so know the quest effects. I'm assuming on the next few lines. Forced. After a location is explored. So when they're the active location, we explore them. Because we can't explore them from play. Unless there's other locations in the encounter deck, which I'm assuming there won't be. Based on this kind of stuff that happened. We've seen this a few times. It's like they'll usually take this stuff out. Uh, after a location is explored, add progress to explore the island equal to that location's printed quest points. Add his quest points. I was oh, right. okay. So the quest points on the location after you clear it. So instead of us questing for a thousand... Putting like two on the active quest, spilling the rest over onto this one. Nah, uh, 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 uh. You just add the quest points of the active location onto here. Okay. So that example we showed was like five, right? Yeah. So even if you quest for seven, if I'm understanding this correctly, yell at me in the chat if I'm wrong. If we quested like seven points, five would go on that active location, two would go nowhere because you can't put it on here, and then we would get rid of that location we explored and the five from the Printed points on the card would go on this, so we'd be at five out of fi or five out of twenty. Yeah, fifteen re uh, remaining. No, that sounds very correct. Okay, forced when an uncharted location becomes the active location, add one copy of Lost Island from the top of the uncharted deck to the staging so area. It's never ending. Okay, so this is gonna keep like I thought. It keeps it going and never ending. Okay, so we always will have two. Yeah, we'll always have two in the staging area because once we travel to one and it becomes the active location, we place another one. Oh, yeah, because there was no way to add more to the staging area until now. I was thinking, like, when we discard them so we explore them, they go back and shuffle in the deck. And then we'll have to... Uh, oh, no, when when it becomes active location, we add a new one. Yeah, so we'll always be two. So then when you clear one, it goes back in the deck and shuffles. And yeah. then after that, you could technically get it back into the staging area again. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right. Let's see if we can find our way off this island. What the hell? Does anyone have faith in us? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So again, we're playing on sleazy mode, so I removed all the like uh, golden ring cards out of here, but we didn't take the extra resource, so we're playing on slightly easy, aka sleazy mode, because mm -hmm. we're all about sleazy plays here at Rob's Gaming Table. Dan, oh, thank you for subscribing. Welcome. Why can I not hear? It didn't pop. That's why. They're not popping. No. One sec. It's all good. Mm. While you're doing that, what I'm going to do is because we we did a resource, I get to draw an additional one. Oh, I gotta set these in the way. Yeah, this is fine. So I get to draw an additional four cards, and then I have to discard one. So I'll just do that while Rob is. Two, three, four. So now I have to discard one to start before I can do anything, which is going to be this one because. Uh, he can only be played from my discard pile. So, okay. That's weird. Hmm. Yeah, I think they're broken. They're too broken? Yeah, like it, it's it's visible, but even when I click like the normal way, I would test it, and like yeah, nothing's yeah, happening. Yeah. It's popping in the chat though. Well, at least we can see it in the chat, so that's that's good. But like the on-screen ones aren't working right now, and this this app did update right before uh, when I turned it on before the stream, so something's broken. That's funny, funny, funny. Good times, love updates. All right, 
Alrighty, so I drew all of my extra cards. I discarded my one to start. I can go yep. first, I think. Yep, yep. So I think mainly I only have three resources. So I think my goal here is going to be this one. Uh, one, two. And we'll attach this here. This will let us ready some allies, which is good. And then this one can only be on a Noldor hero and restricted. So let's put that... Does not oh after they commit to the quest. So it's someone I'm committing to quest, which is this girl. Okay. And then I have a cost zero card. This one here, I think we can use this one to help us uh, attach to a location in the staging area. Progress from questing success successfully may be placed on attached location before it's placed on the current quest. So if I put this on one of them, that'll give us the and we quest for at least four over, that would give us enough to peek at one. Right? Because we can put it there before we can put on the attached location. True. So I don't know if we have a... Throw one. Let's frame This one. Pick one. And it's a random. Okay. And then I have no more resources, so I'm done. Okay. Oh, I can actually give myself a resource, uh, which I probably should do because I have Test of Will, so we may need that. I have no idea what's in this deck. Uh, that can be played on my discard pile to give her a resource. And then I'll hold it for, I have two tests of wills in case. Okay. Unless you want this. That one lets you discard three uh, damage and heat ready. It's up to you, man. No, no, no. Let's save for test of wills. I don't know what's in this deck and I'm scared. I'll just play an errand rider. Who literally is just going to go in front of something and die. But he allows me to move one resource from a resource pool over here to another resource pool. Uh, I could do that, but I'm a little scared. I kind of want him to just defend, but maybe I can defend with this hero. I think it's fine. Yeah, let's just do it. I'm going to move this resource over here. And the reason why I'm doing that is so that I can have two tactics resources mm -hmm. to throw this bad boy out there. And I'll throw it on Aragorn. Because this guy doesn't have the tactics resource yet until I have at least one enemy engaged with me. So I'll also throw Cram mm. onto Aragorn. And uh, I'll also have Foe Hammer as an option now because I have a weapon attached to him. And that's that. Done. All right. Questing. Hmm. So that's first player. We're definitely in a quest here. We don't have an active location, so that doesn't work, matter right now. Yeah, we can't even put any on here. No, I know. But we don't want our threats to go up by a lot, right? Right. Five. I could leave him out. Okay. And then we could ready both these allies. Like if I put this one in for one. Whatever you want to do, man. Three, four, five. I could. What is his action, though, again? With the bomb card of your deck, then you may switch it with the card in your hand. I think that's a trap. Yeah, I don't want to do it right now because I lose my hand at the end. But then what's um, this? This one, I would put two progress on a location, which we could do, but I, I just have so to do it later. It. Yeah. So I think I'm going to quest for six myself. Okay, I'll put two in. So a total of eight. All right. Should Steep we... plateau. There are locations. Oh, in deck. interesting. Oh, no. So we also have these to deal with, too. Oh, this look this, this scenario. Is super. Um. Oh, but it helps us look at the face down side of an uncharted location in staging area. Okay. It's helpful. Sure. But if you're getting rid of those, you're not getting rid of the yep. lost Bingo. locations. Bingo. Runes of ages past, doomed to <laughs> one, two. So there goes that thread I reduced earlier. So now we know doomed cards are in here. There is why you might want to damage your guy at the beginning. Winterfield, add one copy of Lost Island from the top of the Uncharted deck to the staging area. Remove all progress from each Uncharted location in the staging area and shuffle them so that players don't know which one is which. Oh my... I can cancel this. The card will go away. So, I mean, I might as well just use it before it's gone, right? Because we don't want a third location. Okay, done. Yeah, I'll just cancel it with this. It will. Okay. Okay. Filthy. Yeah. No Filthy. enemies, but we can travel. Oh, sorry. How much do we have here? Two, four, five. So we're up three. So we can put three here. 
Oh, we need four on it to do anything? Yeah, do I have any more? You can do this in the actual window. Oh, yeah, I should do that. Or like after we resolve it. Yeah, order. let's do that to put two here. So is that five? So then you want to do this action to uh, yeah. look at the other side. Yeah. Spend four. Remove four progress from Lost Island to look at his face downside. Of course, after Forbidden Coast is flipped over, this, we don't do this part, but we can read it. Uh, while active, each player may draw one card. Then each player chooses one card from their hand and places it on the bottom of their deck. <laughs> oh, I would do this. Would you be okay with this? Because we could travel here. And and then that this would become active. Okay. I, I don't know, but we just get to peek and we look. And this is where you want to travel? I don't know. I'm asking you. Yeah, this oh. would fall off of it. We get to keep one there, though. Oh, yeah. Well, it'll go away if you travel to it, but yeah. it's whatever. I mean, I'm okay with that effect, so it's up to you. And that's okay. like six. So I'm travel to here? Yeah. So this is gone, unfortunately. That's fine. Should save those till later when we need to actually find a specific card. All right. I, the, they get lost from my hand if I don't use them. Oh, yeah, so. true. That's right. I forgot. You don't save cards. No. Okay, so we can flip this. Oh, yeah. After it's flipped over, while active, each player may draw one card. Then each player shows one card from their hand and plays on the bottom of their deck. Hmm. Now, this guy lets me do something with the bottom card, right? Look at the bottom card of your deck, then you may switch that card with the card in your hand. Yeah, so then I want to put this heal card on the bottom so I don't lose that because I can't afford it right now. Okay. I see this mechanic is kind of cool because then he can let you get it. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Okay. All right. So that's it, right? Because there's no enemies. Yep. Yep. Ready up. Raise threat by one. Pass first player token, aka Calvin. And then okay, resources. I my hand. Draw. Drawing five. I have to discard one. Use this action again. Mm. Spend two. I'm going to play an honor guard. And that's me. Here we go. Mm. Actually, I just probably moved his resource over. Spending one. C to C, and then I can pay, exhaust this, so I can pay a card instead of a resource. So I'll pay a card and then one resource to pay for her. That's the one that helps with questing. Okay. Uh, questing. Questing, you're first. Mm -mm. I'll go four. Okay. Actually, five. Mm -hmm. We got a six right here. I'd like to get rid of it. Yep. So we can keep well, uh, I keep can... pushing. I can do three, and then I can use this, exhaust. After attached, hero commits to a quest, discard a card from your hand to place two oh, progress on location. We forgot, after this became an active location, oh, yeah, we need add one copy of this to the staging area. You're right. I'm going to discard a card to add two progress to that got it. location. Got it, got it. So I'm putting in three, four, five... Five, that'd be ten. We're at five there. We need another four. I don't want to put her in because I'll lose her, so I'm just going to do three, four, five, nine. Mysterious fog. When revealed, either each player must exhaust the character they control or each lost island in the stadium it's plus one threat until the end of the phase. I can uh, exhaust character. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I'll exhaust character. Okay. Okay. Aimless wandering. When revealed, the players of the group must remove characters with a total of at least X 
willpower from the quest. X is the number of uncharted locations in the staging area, which is two. So we need to remove at least a total of two willpower from the quests. Uh, the first player may give Aimless Wandering Doom 2 to look at the face down side of an uncharted location of the staging area. Don't do it. No. But later, mm -hmm. when we really need to find a specific one, I think yeah. it's fine. But so, these could be really bad. I don't know. I can remove... This is exactly two here, so I can remove sure, this one. Sure, done. Okay, so we're at 12. All right, and we have five in there. Yep. And then we so only leave need... seven. Yep. So that's more than enough so to clear six. this. I'll just use this one. So it's you put six here. on Explore the Island. This will be discarded, I assume, so it gets shuffled back into here. So we could definitely see that card again. And we're now at six out of 20 progress... Oh, it's kind of fun. I actually like this. Yeah, I know. It's really cool. Um, And now we can try... For now, until we find a really horrible location. <laughs> no, that wasn't bad. That yeah, wasn't... And a, and a, a bad encounter card comes out that wrecks us. So... And we die in the jungle with poison. No no enemies again. So, hmm. Yeah, it's probably enemy light. We could travel again to... It will be like 50-50 on... All right. Uh, right. Let's do it like this. Okay, I put a poll in the chat for those that are watching, so you can vote which location we tr we travel to, uh, or we make the active location, I guess. Is it Lost Island card that we don't know what it is on the left? Is it the card that we know of in the middle? That is Steep Plateau, one threat, three quest points, response. After we explore it, look at the face down side of any uncharted location in the staging area. Or the other Lost Island card on the right. So I have three options in the poll in the live chat if you're watching. Left, middle, right. Which one would you like us to go to? Because this is basically random, but if you want this one, go ahead and vote. But we can blame it on you if one of these is really bad. Whoever voted that way, it's all your fault. <laughs> Not ours. <laughs> Just kidding. Let Just kidding. Voting. Gotta be the one closest to Ron. What, that's the good one or that's the bad one? I don't know. I don't know. All right, I'm closing the poll. Thank you, everyone that voted. Also, thanks to all of you. All 19 of you have clicked the like button already. Thank you so much. All righty. Uh, the right one. 50%. Oh, 33 are going for middle. Okay. I would not be opposed to that one. But... Oh, this does add quest points to this. You, oh, yeah, it doesn't yeah. have to be a lost island. No, nope, I don't think so. I thought that too when I read it before, but... After a location is explored, add progress to the island equal that location's pretty quest points. Doesn't say anything about the... Uh, other than it says force, when an uncharted location becomes active, then you bring another one from it. So you always don't... There's always going to be at least two in the staging area, is what it's trying to say. Okay. But obviously this tries to add more from here too. Okay, here we go. Let's see how bad it is. Flooded ruins. Oh, this is the one we used as an example oh, earlier. Okay. There's probably multiples too, though, but I don't know. Uh, while flooded ruins is the active location, it contributes its threat to the staging area. Okay, we can work around this one, but. And then we have to put another one into the staging area. And then I think that's it. There's no enemy. Okay, glad I brought a fighting and defending deck. <laughs> I know, and then, then you'll quest heavy one time, and then all that means will come. First player token. Where's my threat? Oh, uh, I want to do this action, actually, oh, yeah, yeah, you can. In, in one of the later end of round thingies. Uh, put two on, I want to see what this one is. Maybe, it'll probably clear it away before I get there, but... Um, yeah, so I'll exhaust this, but then when we ready up all the cards, whatever, you know. Yeah, I wanted to wait a little bit to see what happened with the cards before I did that, but... Okay. Um, and then threat goes up by one. And resources. And draw. I need that one. This one we can discard. Sword of Gondor, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. So let's start by... Spending two resources to put 
Stuart Gondor. Yeah. And money, money, money. Okay. Now we're going to be rolling. Now we're going to be rolling. Then we're going to use, because I want to get this heal card in play, we're going to use the C to C. We can discard X cards. We'll discard this one. And one resource for my heal. This is my heal person. So that's great. And then this card I need. So I can't, unfortunately, discard any cards for that fun shenanigans, but that's okay. Okay, done. Done. All right. Questing. Let's two. Or sorry, three. Oh, yeah. But I'm going to do this right now as a response. Give her plus one threat, or sorry, willpower, and then I can reduce my threat by three. Uh, one, two, three. So I'm going to 32. So she is at four. I'll just put that like that for a second. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'll quest for eleven. Add four more to that. Okay. Fifteen. Actually add five. One more to that. One more. So many treacheries. Nathominous fate. Thurge. Oh. Cannot be cancelled. When revealed, each player must either reveal an encounter card, raise their threat by two now, or deal two damage of item among characters they control. And X is the campaign card's part number, which part two. The players may add ominous fate to the victory display. Which let's not do it this time. Yeah, let's not. Because maybe we can earn victory point or X experience points for it, yeah. but maybe not. They probably are like, no, no, you had your chance. Yeah. So, uh, what do you want to do from here? For me, I'm going to take damage because I got same. my heal char character out now. So just same, same, same. So it's just any characters, right? Let's put one here and one here. I'm spreading the wealth in case once I can get some more cards in hand, I can start triggering that one. Okay. Uh, so it's going to surge. So we're going to draw another one. This card one, right? Yeah. Okay. When reveal, oh. the player shoes of the group must reveal uh, remove characters with a total of X. Uh, so we have two. two uncharges in the stage area, so two. All right, I'll just do this one again because that is full two. And we could take Doom two to peek at a thing, but I don't think right now that's the smart play. I don't think so either. And then the final card is the same thing. Same thing. So, so remove two. two more. Um, that's four, four. I could remove this guy for one. Do you have a one that's in? Yeah, sure. He's removed. Okay, so we move one, two. So we're at twelve. So two, four, five. Perfect. For, yeah, more than enough. Five more on this thing. Five more. And then this gets flipped over, which I think I flipped the other one over, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then shuffle back in. Okay. And then I'll use this action to add two more here. And then the And action. then we spend four to look at this one. Curse Temple, one and three. While Curse Temple is the active location, characters with less than two willpower do not ready during the refresh phase. It's only less than, so we so I, we just shouldn't know. put things in, but yeah, less than two. That's good to know. Maybe we go there. Eventually, that'll be shuffled, and we won't know it's there if we don't go there. Oh. Ultra Violetta, good to see ya. I think it was enough, but that location counted in our staging area. Oh, we were up by we it had did? five. It was uh, how much was it? Three added? I think so. Five, six, seven, eight. Then that's still five. Okay. Right? Are we good? I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, that's only four. So I need to find it again? Put it back? Yeah. Damn it. Sorry. Oh, what was it? Oh, this one. Forbidden. It was a three, right? Flooded ruins. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I think, yeah. So, so it's then three it was in there. Two, yeah, five. Eight and we're at twelve because it knocked us down. So this is only at four. Ooh. Man. So we can't travel. So we can't travel. But oh, okay, we know. But you looked at that one. Yeah. Okay. Well, that sucks. That sucks. Um, can I do anything with this guy? No, that card will not help me. Have any way to add? Toss a card or something to add one quest point. No. Come on, man. This was three, four. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. Eight. That sucks. All right. Um, 
And that's the end of the round, right? We don't, no yeah. fighting or nothing. All right. So your token threat goes up to 35 already. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we need to hurry. Um, then draw and resources. Okay, resources. Three, one, and two. I was going to play again off standard. I don't know if that's the right. Like, I want to get through this. We're going to be adding more. But it's these aren't adding much. They're just annoying. They're just removing characters and stuff. So maybe I wait. If I just play this guy. And then... Hmm. Do I do this action right now, or do I wait till I have Gandalf out to do this kind of shenanigans? I just want to get more guys to help with questing. So I have two allies to control, shuffle your deck, it's that whole, like, get to bring two in based on the cost. So the idea is that I have nice, big, juicy ones, but the only juicy one I'm really drawn into is Gandalf right now. I haven't seen any of my other uniques. Um, so I could just exhaust these two guys. Search and then get to put up to five costs worth of, and it could just be one single guy. It could be two. Uh, um, in play or do they leave? No, they're in play. It's oh. like it's like I'm giving up two on the turn. I think I do it. Yeah, try. Yeah, I was gonna wait till I did a turn with Gandalf and then do it, but I think I would rather use his uh, stats to like help his quest or something. Yeah. So I'm I should be able to clear this before it affects us in the state. Exhausting two allies I control. Uh, discard the top five cards of my deck. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then, uh, put up to two allies discarded by this effect into play under your control. Total cost of the allies put into play can oxy the total cost of allies exhausted to pay for this effect. Uh, at the end. So these guys would stay in play because I'm not putting them to play with the response, right? So I don't have to follow this at the end of the round. They get shuffled back in. That's only when I ambush them. So I'll put one of these guys into play because I, I exhausted five worth. So I'll put a four in. And then I just so happen to got um, an Aaron Rider, another one of these guys. It doesn't do much right now because I, I need willpower, but enemies don't want to show up, it looks like, to, to eat these guys as I am okay with happening. Um... So yeah, that was a cool Ewing reinforcements. It did okay. Um, and then I'll put these ones in my discard pile. So there we go. We got some bodies. At least two quest points there. So I, I exhausted one to get two. I don't know. It's fine, I guess. I guess that's okay. Good? Not sneak attack Gandalf. Yeah, I don't have sneak attack in my hand right now. And I was trying to think, like, I really want to get through this part. I feel like the longer we delay, threat going up, it's like... That's the trick, is like, get through this jungle as fast as possible. You don't want things sitting here too long. Yeah. Um, cause, and I'm sure the second part is going to be even worse when we're trying to search for our specific place. That's when I want to get serious. So maybe I'll save Gandalf for that time, and he can help me reduce my threat at that time. So I don't know what's going to happen. We know there's a freaking dirty enemy in here. We know there's that oh, one yeah. annoying enemy. I'm ready for him. Show up, bro. I'm waiting for it. I need to foe hammer to draw cards with my weapon, but it's not going to happen if I don't kill anything. Anyways, carry on. All yep. right. I'm going to give two resources to five. Okay, I'm going to start by... I can do this twice. So one and two. Um, so we can heal up to one damage off a character, and I've done it twice, so we could do it... You can choose two characters and heal. Okay. That's done. Then we're going to spend, this is a fun little play I didn't get to do last time, spend three to play this guy, and he has a response after he enters play. If you have less than three cards in hand, draw until you have three cards in your hand. 
Okay. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Two. We got to put that here first, mm -hmm. and then we'll get the next one to you. What is it, Mel, that you just put oh, there? Oh, Unexpected Courage, sorry. Oh, okay. Thanks for letting us know. I shook it on stream. But... Yeah, but now I want to see that. <laughs> I know, I'm so sorry. I just got excited. I'm going to put this I on here to do this. No, it's not um, really descriptive. You must be descriptive. Okay, then that will be for that. Done. All right, questing. I'll put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to clear this if that's helpful to know if you don't want to put all that in. You want to clear it? Yeah, right now when I... Tell me what. What are you doing? When I put her in, I can... Uh, where is this one? Uh... Discard a card from my hand to add two progress to the active location. Just oh, but still threat we don't want to get, though. Right, right. There's still five, but I'm just saying. Sure, I'll keep this guy. Okay. Uh, so I'm putting in one, two, three, four, five. But remember, we got guys will get bumped out, too. I know, so I know. You want to overcommit based on what we've seen so far? Okay. So then she's going in for three, exhausting. Oh, I don't have to exhaust that. I just have to discard a card from my hand to add two progress to a location. So that one. So that gets shuffled back. And? And five, yes. Five progress on the current quest. So we're at 11 out of 20, nine more to go. That is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we will ready with unexpected courage. Nine, 10, 11, 11. Oh, finally you've got some enemies. Oh. The drowned dead. 32 engagement, 22 threat, 4 attack, 3 defense, 3 health, force when drowned dead attacks and destroys an ally. Place that ally on the bottom of its owner's deck. Oh, that's helpful. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Oh, oh hello, enemies. Line. Servant of the Deceiver. Hmm. When it engages, you look at the top card of your deck. If it's printed, cost is two or less, place on the bottom of your deck. There's going to be something about things being on the bottom of our deck punishing us somehow. Yeah, in the next one. Let's get to the next phase of this quest. Yeah, something is happening here. <laughs> There's bad things that are coming. Or this is teasing something in a later scenario that's going to be really bad with these guys. But this is actually from this scenario. This is the same set symbol, so I don't know what's happening. I think th bad things are happening, though. I feel it. He gets a bonus, though, if you do that, so. Oh, I see. If it's printed cost two or less, place on the bottom of your deck, and he gets plus two attack till the end of the round. Okay. All right, so we had 16. We had two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. Okay, so we're up. That's good. But I am going to do this because I'm going to lose a card, and I'm gonna, I want to give this person an extra willpower and reduce my threat by three. Going to 30. Okay. We want to travel. If we travel here, anybody to... Oh, we probably don't want to travel here. That's what we know right now. Yeah, right? that's the one anybody two or less. Willpower can't ready. And it was only like three um, stuff for this, right? Yeah. We could travel here to look at this one. I don't know. But it's only three also. True. I'm greedy. Let's just okay, do this Okay, we can one. just do that and hope it's not I bad. want a big six or something. Oh, it's a five. Flooded Ruins. Oh, oh, same Been there, done that okay. before. Okay, this is doable. But it adds a threat to the staging area. Let's not forget that. Yeah. Uh, but it is a five, so like... Yeah, it's faster progression. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. I'm trying to like save turns here. So I was yeah. going for the bigger number, hopefully, and it worked out. We have to add another Lost Island. Oh, uh, yes. All right. Fighting or engagement. It's her. Hmm. So both will come in. I'm at 35, so. Um, I could ready your allies, two allies. Would that be helpful for you? Uh, or is that not enough? Oh, I have two to die, which is totally fine. But then do you have enough to kill? Um, uh, I could use this guy and this guy to fight back. Would be nice, but. Here, I'll just do this for you, anyways. So I can exhaust 
this and attach here to choose up two allies. Each ally of those allies gets plus one attack, plus one defense till the end of the phase. Okay. Uh, sweet. All right. Uh, so yeah, I'll optionally engage and then engage. Oops, I just bump. Oh man, I just bumped that die, I think. Maybe I didn't change the number on it. Maybe it did. I don't know. Let's find it. Oh yeah, it was a two. How the hell did I do that? Okay. We're back. We're back. Okay. Um, trying to slide these guys down. And I'll slide these over. But I have my own little party of these guys here. Uh, so this one first one engages me. Look at the top card of my deck. Printed cost is two or less. Oh, I have Captain Gondor in my deck. Sick. Uh, two or less placed on the bottom of your deck. Oh, and he gets plus two attack. Oh yeah, it's the same. Why is this over here? I don't know. Grab different dice here to to the end of the round. Okay. Okay. Force when he attacks and destroys an ally. Thank you. Put on the bottom of the deck. I don't care about that. All right. Uh. So. Oh yeah. When things engage, maybe something happens. Nope. All right, shadow cards, shadow cards. Okay, so let's defend against this three attack. No, this, hold on, how do we do this? I don't have the horse. Okay, uh, we'll defend with this guy against this one. Nothing. You have another enemy, though. Surge, wind. Guard the bottom card of engaged serious decks. That card's print cost two or less. Return it to the top encounter deck. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> uh, surge too. That's annoying. Okay. So that guy kills this guy and he goes on the bottom of my deck. Okay. And then I guess I'll just throw this guy. This guy's attacking for five. Yeah. yeah. We'll throw this guy in front. Interview, uh, nope, sorry. Uh, discard the bottom card of your deck. If that's card print, is printing cost two or less? Exhaust the character you control. <laughs> oh, <no>. Let me check. <laughs> what do you know? Oh, no. <laughs> there oh, you go. There's no. your madness that happens at the bottom of the deck. Hold on. That's the best way to do this. Crap. Do you not have enough now? I don't know. I just it sucks I have to lose a guy, but that's okay. All right. Uh, now we think that horse is dead, right? The oh, yeah, this guy's dead. dead, but he doesn't go to the bottom of my deck, he just goes normal dead pile, discard pile. Okay, then, so what do we have here? This guy, after will be a three, four, three, this guy will be a four, three, four, three, three, which is worse. So they all have minus one defense, so I technically just hit this one for five. I have four here, this guy's three, this guy's three. This guy just need hit for six, so it like really sucks that I lost that guy, because they both would be dead. Does that guy lose his? Um, yeah, the plus two is gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. That's so it's easier to defend against, but still annoying. All right, so I'm definitely gonna kill this guy then. Um, or I do cram. Mm, yeah, let's just use cram. It's yeah. fine. Uh, so let's do an attack here. And like here, I guess, to kill this one. And no one to engage. And then I'll cram to ready him. And then we'll attack with these two. Uh, yep, to kill this one. And then I don't know if you want to do this action to put two. Yeah, sure. One here. Those are gone. Okay. Done. Done. Ready up. 
Uh, source player token. Raise threat. Money. Mm. Money. Money. Draw. Yeah, I'm also holding this where I could have readied up some dude name characters. I need to do that. But I guess I would have probably been better to use this instead of Cram, but it's okay. I get those. Oh yeah, and I forgot. Hold on, Foe Hammer. I forgot Foe Hammer. I would have... I would have used bow hammer because I finally killed an enemy. Mm -hmm. It's also a weapon to draw three. One, two, there's sneak attack. All right, there we go. Now we got some options. Okay, you're I'm first. planning. All right, let's do it of Gondor first for two more resources. I have to do this now. Yeah, very pretty art in this set, Ultra Violet. Like, I love it. It's so, so cool. Before I lose it, I'm going to spend one. And I'm going to grab that event out of my discard pile that return it to your hand and then draw a card. Okay. Then I have to play this because I've already lost my other one. So play one for Tuss Will. Choose a player. Shuffle that player's discard pile into their deck and remove this from the game. So we'll shuffle this. Okay. I'll shuffle it in one sec. I don't need to. I don't need to use it for a second. So then I will spend two. Well, top card of my discard pile is an attachment. He gains plus two defense and sentinel. And then I can put this attachment actually here if we want to clear this from here. So how is that worded? After our location is explored. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Would that be exploring it, would you say? If I attach this to this, I'll use... I can't keep it. And we put the three here. Then we never have to travel to this one. Well, there's but, only one in the staging. Who okay. cares? I could put it on... I don't think you put it on anything. Oh, yeah, but you're going to lose gonna it. I'm going to lose it, though. I could put it on... But this one we can right now, just do this action right now. We'll know what this is before oh. this gets removed by a card. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Um, okay, so that won't matter. Uh, the round just going from play. I mean, you can put it on here if you want, but it's going to do nothing. Yeah, Might it's going to well. do nothing, so. So yeah, I see what you're saying. It's like, but we'll, we know this right now. Or we'll know this if you just literally do the action right now in, yep. in the open action window. And then, uh, yeah. Okay, I think that's all. We'll use these cards for other things. Yeah, Mel's yeah. playing a Noldor, uh, Noldor Elves, right? Yes. Yeah, Noldor Elves, which is all about, like, Drawing a ton, discarding your whole hand at the end of the turn, discarding cards to pay for things and do effects and pull stuff out of her discard pile. She's supposed to draw through her whole deck in the scenario, play a card that shuffles her whole discard pile back in. And if she still runs out of it after that, there's characters she can play from her discard pile into play that go back and come back out and like she'll never run out of allies to play, basically. It's like really cool. Yeah, it's, it's nuts. Decklist linked in the video description. <laughs> it's definitely not fun. Mel's creation. No. Uh, not our call. We credited it in the last episode, but yeah, it's down below, down below. Yep. If you want to read the whole write up to how it works and everything, it's it's nutty. It's fun. Very for cool. Sure. Yeah, very cool. And I wanted to get this one out because I can then use this more. Okay. My turn. Uh, yeah. So I was first. Yes, I think so. Can't play that. I'm going to spend two. No, I think I have to do this in the right order. Whoops. Wait, I did it again. Oh my god. Which one did you bump? The it doesn't one? matter. Oh. I'll pick. Yeah, I play with these dice that aren't supposed to flip, and then I pick up cards and stuff. All right, we fix it. Fix, fix, fix. Okay. Um... Oh, this guy's free anyway. I wasn't going to. I'm going to play this guy. After your enters, place there's top five cards in counter deck for a non uk enemy and put it into play and engage with you. Oops. One, two, three, four, five. Non unique enemy. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Hmm. I go for the four attack guy who's not going to get buffed up possibly, or do I gamble with what's on top of my deck? Hmm. No, let's go with this guy. Uh, then what do I do? Shuffling character. Okay. We need that big boss guy to come out as a shadow card. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's he in. He was in there, yeah, in your top five. Oh, okay. Drown dead. All right. Um, so now he has the tactics resource icon. All right. Let's play Raiment of War, another one. Uh, counts as two restricted attachments, gives plus one attack, plus one defense, plus two hit points. To this guy, and that costs two. And that's me, done. Okay. Questing, let's quest here. And then after she commits to the quest, I can discard a card in my hand. And add two progress to the current location. Uh, we will then, that's three, four, five. Is this all from that horse you added into your deck that keeps doing that? Yeah. That's well, so Well, as good. I read it, it was like, yeah, I think that so would good. be good if this is location. Very heavy. good, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's why it might have been in my sideboard. <laughs> I don't need it for everyone, but. All right. Three, five, nine. Uh, she can go in now because I have cards that I can discard. So nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11, 12. All quests were 12. Oh, is that enough? Thirteen. All quests were thirteen. Five in there. We need three. Up five. It's not enough. I don't feel that's enough. Fifteen. Two. Three, four. That's all. Okay. Nineteen. Oh no, it's another drowned dead. Oh, oh no, it's the no. big bad. Revenant. Okay. Showing his ugly mug. 43 though. Don't have to engage me if I don't want to. No. He does that three threat threat to this three threat to the staging area. We need to play your card effects. Gotta remember that part. It's plus two attack, plus two advantage to each resource on the campaign card. Okay. Again, like I can attack him once. But he'll stay in front of me for at least two rounds because he only gets to put two damage on him instead. I can't Gandalf him. They put oh, damage yes, on him. Oh, yeah, he's immune. Yeah. Filthy, filthy bugger. Yeah, because we don't have any range where I could then. I do like it, though. It's very cool. Uh, so there you go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen total. So we're, we're up at? five. We're up five. You're allowed to put. Some number here and some number here. If we had six to spare, that would be perfect. But we don't. Well, I think we put three here. So this will put five, five more on, over yeah. here. Maybe placed on the attached location before it. So then we had one left, two left over. You do like that. And then this will go shuffle back in here, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'll do, before we travel, I'll do this action to put another two on here and we'll spend it. Look at this one. The Cursed Temple. All the active location characters less than two do not ready. Same. These are the same? Yep. So. So. Uh, this, when you do explore this, it still will add its stuff here by doing this little trick. Because it just says when location is explored. It doesn't say the active location. So, you, this will still get three on there. Um, so yeah, we'll just travel to one of these then, I guess. Well, then we can't ready anybody that's two or less. Do you no, have... less than two. Or less than two. Yeah, so just less than two. Ready... 
I put in a two and I put in two is already ready, so I'm good. Okay. I mean, for me, it'll be one, two, three, four characters that don't ready, but. So you have other readying effects, right? Built into your leader and stuff for this kind of purpose, right? Am I right? No, I don't have readying effect. Oh, just this, but only allies. Yeah, they can. Okay, okay. Again, the same. Okay, so then I can. I stand by my statement. Yeah, okay. So then let's do it. Travel to this one. The Cursed Temple. Can we have to add another one? Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, engagement. Mm -hmm. Could just leave this guy on the stage here for now. I think that might be the play. Okay, I'll take this guy. And then a shadow cards. So if two enemies engage me, so this guy gets plus two defense for three. Might survive an attack by one of these guys, so let's do it. Defending for three against this one. Discard the bottom card of your deck. If that card's printed cost is two or less, attack an enemy gets plus two attack. Screw you, game. Oh. <laughs> I know what you're doing to me now. I see. I see how you're toying with me. Uh, so this is plus two attack. So he's at six. Well, six shreds this guy apart, I think. Yep. Because he blocks three. Three gets through. Boom. Oh, and he destroys. Now I put it on the bottom of my deck, which oh, costs three. three. That's good. That's good. I mean, sucks, but still good. Okay. Now this guy's defense, after seeing that card, I don't want my hero defending like I normally would. But, uh, yeah, this guy's just, they're just shredding through my dudes. Now, if I defend here for three... Hmm. I could sneak attack Gandalf if it's really bad. But, I like his three attack also. So I'm just gonna put this guy in front. Spending for one, he's definitely gonna die. Yep. And he's a two cost going on the bottom of my deck. That sucks. Yeah, they're all just trying to punish me for chump blocking. I see what they're doing. Uh, okay, so he goes on the bottom. And then attack time. And run out of defenders. Need that horse. Uh, okay. You don't have any range guys or anything? No. All right, uh, so to kill this guy, I need five. To kill this guy, I need five. I have four here. I have three here, three here, three here. I think we're good. Just an attack here. Kill this guy. I could engage this guy. I can engage him now after the attack, after their attacks have happened. Right, I think that's why I want to do that. After Aragorn participates in an attack that destroys an enemy, choose an enemy not engaged with you, and engage that enemy. Now, I, I, don't, I don't know how many tricks... Oh, but if you put a couple damage on him, next time you can take him out. Yeah. But I'm just thinking getting the threat of the stage here might be good. Mm -hmm. uh, so this guy attacks for three, this guy attacks for three, that'd be enough to kill this guy. Or that'd also be enough to put some damage on him. Already your allies if you need. I can ready more right now with, I have a card for this purpose. So let me just do it. Uh, okay, so let's do both these guys to put two damage on here. And then I'll spend one purpley resource from leadership to ready X student and characters you control. X is the number of enemies engaged with you. So that'll ready two up. Uh a Dane characters, right? Yeah, so it could be my heroes. And then they'll just go whack and kill this one. Easy okay, peasy. And then I'm using unexpected courage to ready here. Yeah, ready up your. But it, even but I have to. You're oh. like, these guys are not all gonna ready, so I don't know if that's a problem. Oh, that's true. It's 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 punishing even ones that weren't in the quest. I see. Yeah. Oh. But I can only ready. Okay, hold on. Allies. So instead of this guy. Get ready of him. Hit with four. Oh, hold on. If this guy hits for four. Yeah, sorry. Aragorn would attack by himself. Okay, on this guy. 
Mm -hmm. So I don't need this guy in there, I think. So I could ready to and have him just attack by himself, I think. Yeah, because I think I exhausted too many. Um, okay. Because, yeah, to fight him, I only need to exhaust one. And then I would ready two up, uh, which I could ready up him again for that last enemy that was here. And I could ready up uh, this guy. Or something. No, he can stay down, I guess. I ready up him. And this guy. And then these two attack, and he stays up against this guy. Yes, that okay. works. And then I'll use this ability, and you can... So the only one won't, that won't ready is this one. That one won't ready either, right? It's two or less. Read it for the 15th time, slowly. Oh, with less than two. Okay, sorry, I thought it was two or less. Not as bad as you think. Keep saying le uh, less. You're like equal to or less than, but there's no equal to. So then I'll use this to ready... This one, and then yours that won't ready. This one's fine to be down. And then I'll just do a couple actions real quick. We're going to heal one and heal one. So two heals on that. And good. All right. Ready? Oh, and also I'll discard a card to add a resource here. Oh, yeah. Okay. So ready up my guys that are two willpower. Raise my threat by 1 to 37. Pass the first player mm -hmm. token. So only one of mine doesn't ready, which is totally fine. And now resources. Draw. Ranger of Cardalon. Can be played on my discard pile, so I can just do that. Oh, I got two of them. I'll spend four to play a ranger full cost, and that's me go. Okay, we'll gain two resources, put four here. We'll give you an unexpected courage. That you can put on whoever you'd like. Oh, I'm going to do this. Just to put a progress on here. To clear oh, okay. this. To put three more on here. Uh, I'll just go to a four. And this is gone. Okay. I'm going to spend one... From here to grab that event out of my discard pile. That'll let me to draw a card. Oh, oh what's this? You're giving me this? Yes, yes. Whatever on whoever you Aragorn, of course. We're going to use C to C. Smashy, smashy. I can discard one card and three resources green to play. After one or more cards are discarded from your hand, draw a card. Limit once per round. Then I can... Spend one, grab this card, draw a card, and I already did that, or did I? No, I didn't do that yet, did I? I don't think so. Okay. You don't need any heal yet? We're good to go, I think. Yes. Yes. Mm. Okay. And this guy's going to get a bonus of two defense because there's an attachment on top of my discard pile. I'll put uh, five in the quest. Five? Okay. So we have four. That one doesn't do anything for us. Okay. So if we don't clear it, it'll do the non-ready thing. Yeah. And we know one of these is also that. So if we take that one, which is here, I think. Yep. So we'll probably take this one instead to try to avoid that. And we only need 
five, six more progress and we're gone. Okay. I'm going to quest for three here. I can discard a card. Oh, no. We just need one more. Only 20, right? Yeah, one more. Yeah, one more. Okay. So, so we'll just clear this thing Okay, so I'll use... Off to the races. I'll use the horse, discard Elven Light, of add course. two progress here. Choose three, four, five, six, seven... Don't go too crazy, because if we're progressing Eight, past this, you don't know what it's going to do to us. Nine. Everyone is exhausted and is discarded from the game. The horse, of course. What are you doing here? Fourteen, sorry. <laughs> uh, nine, 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 nine. And I have one that I can add. Yeah, okay, I think that's good. We're at fourteen. We knew one of these guys was still oh, on yeah. there from when I peeked earlier. Okay. Three more. Oh, what the hell? Uh, lingering uh, malevol Malevolence? When revealed, the first player discards the bottom card of their deck. That's me. Then they discard each card in their hand with a printed cost higher than the discarded card. Bye-bye, Gandalf. Oh, no. Bye-bye, <laughs> Gandalf. So that's my discarded card. Oh, no. I look in hand. A 1-1 one, one and a big fat fiver. It doesn't like me holding Gandalf that. And now I finally have a sneak attack with him too and I'm ready for it. Oh. For the second act. And there he goes. Gandalf just got pulled in the deep. <laughs> but did not threaten. But I think we're good, right? Because there's only what? Yeah, yeah. So we'll just clear this. This will add three more to here, which is more than enough. This goes back to here. Shuffles in here. Okay. Then we have enough. Then we have enough. Uh, so this is gone. Okay. A fateful discovery. Markings in Adunayak suggest the existence of a grand shrine somewhere on the island. Perhaps there you will find answers. When revealed, add two copies of Lost Island from the top of the Uncharted deck to the staging area. One, two, so we have four in there. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, add Shrine of Morgoth to the staging area. So that's in the staging area. Okay, so this is adding to the staging area. Just says add Shry to Morgoth. Okay, so I did that. Uh, lost Island side face up. Okay, it tried to try to stop me. I was just following instructions. Okay. And remove all progress from each uncharted location in the staging area and shuffle them so the players don't know which one is which. Oh. So no progress on any of them. So see if we left it on there to get cleared off. Okay, I'm going to do a little under the table shuffling, then we'll get Mel to shuffle it or something, cut it or whatever. Oh, this is lost because I don't okay, have Okay, you mix them up, do whatever you want with them. And then, put them in the staging area. Okay. Uh, you search for the shrine unsure of its exact location. Forced. After a location is explored, after location is explored, if it would be shuffled into the entire deck, add it to the victory display instead. So we can actually clear this deck now. They don't go back in anymore. The players cannot defeat the stage unless the Shrine of Morgoth is in the victory display. When Shrine of Morgoth is added to the victory display, the players win the game. Oh, okay. So we, okay. Don't, we don't need quest points just for... We just need a quest or like threat not going up, but... Okay, so it's in here in these five. We've already seen cards that want to add more of these to the thing. When we travel to one, there's no longer a forced adding new ones in. Oh, that's good. So right? this is our five. And if we do, um, after location explored, if it would be shuffled into the Uncharted deck, instead of adding it back in there, we just add it to a victory display out of play. Okay. So we're just now hunting that location down, I'm assuming, and clearing it. Because it has to be in the victory display for us to win. Okay. So do we want to take our chance and travel to one now? Yes. Now, <laughs> uh, I can only put four options in a poll. You could just say whoever says a number, right? One, two, three, four, five? Yeah, one, first number. Two, three, four, five. First number in the chat, whoever's the quickest. One, two, three, four, five. Yours is the choice. The best random way I could do. I could roll dice, but like this is more no, fun. No, this is way more fun because if you're the winner 
And yep. you pick that right location. Four. One, four two, three, four. Ultra Violetta. You can flip it on there. Closest to Rosalind. <laughs> <laughs> I said. Oh, okay, he says four, too. Okay, this is it. I feel it. There we go. It's not it. No, it's not it. Womp womp. <laughs> uh, okay, Drowned Graves. Forest. After Drowned Graves is flipped over while active, discard the top X cards of the encounter deck. Each player adds one undead enemy discarded by this effect to the staging area. X is two more than the number of players in the game. Wow, so we need to discard the top four so, cards. So we're not in the quest uh, phase, and the deck is only so big. So I'm assuming this just discards only one no matter what's happening. Oh I'm, yeah, because it doesn't get shuffled unless. Just yeah. like when we do shadow cards later. Yeah. Because I think this only gets reshuffled in the quest phase, right? Unless this told us to shuffle if we didn't have enough, like it does for the sailing mechanic. Um, which tells you if you don't have enough in here, shuffle it even before drawing them. So we're discarding. Uh, discard the top X cards. And that's not an undead enemy. Okay. So that was not correct, but it is one that we can easily get out of there for two. Okay. We got another enemy. Um, hmm. So this isn't affecting us anyway going forward. But we need to clear this to be able to take another one. So it adds the magical two. So hopefully you can clear it before we even quest next time, right? Yeah. Oh, I was supposed to do this. Sorry, not that it mattered. Just to lower my threat by three. Oh yeah, yeah. One. Oops, sorry. One. So I'll just engage this guy. I mean, are you okay with that? No I can, shadow cards. I can. I'm rolling. Ready allies. When he engages you, though, look at the top card of your deck. If its printed cost is two or less. <laughs> This is killing me. Place it on the bottom. We don't have to add another location. It didn't tell us that. Uh, for this one. Unless it did on... Maybe it did. Each player adds one undead enemy described as back to staging area. Oh, unless it's on that. No, it's not on that setup. It was on this that told us before, right? What? After location... Yeah. Yeah, it was this one that was telling yeah, us to do yeah, it. Yeah. No, no longer there. That, that was the force effect on uh, quest card one. Um, so on quest card two, that rule is no longer present. So we don't, we don't keep doing that, but at least uh, I'm not going to keep doing it unless there's some errata or something, but I, I didn't see it on the quest companion when we looked earlier. Uh, okay. So this guy's plus two attack. <laughs> so shadow cards, nope. Uh, defending. Mm -mm. So this guy's hitting for three. I'll just block for three here. And it's blocked, obviously. There's no resource on the campaign card, so he's not buffed yet. Oh, we're about to shuffle too. But hopefully we can... Yep. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> hopefully we won't see him again, right? Before we find this location. I don't know. I would... You... Okay, anyways. Uh, this guy's attack. He's attacking for three. Uh, four or five. Who's going to die? Aragorn does have three defense. Could take two damage. That's two extra I hit points. I can heal him. Yeah, let's do... Two. Well, he's got extra hit points, too. So, yeah, Aragorn's just going to block. Uh, take two damage. Ready back up with unexpected courage. And then he, by himself, we know, can just attack this guy for four. He's already reduced his defense by one. Two gets blocked. Two gets through. All we need is two on him. Um, or he only allows two to hit him anyway, but it's enough because he only needs three to hit him. Or one more to hit him, sorry. Force, after he's destroyed, shuffle it in the encounter deck. Uh-oh. Oh! So it's just going to come... So this, oh, this card 100% we're drawing as our first card in the quest phase next, I think. Okay. Um... Interesting. And then we have to put... So he is coming back to haunt us. No <laughs> and then we have to put one here. Hey, you want to shuffle this? You want to cut this yeah, deck? I uh, shuffle, it, shuffle, 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 and counter deck? <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Do you need allies ready and for this And one fight? resource. Can... Yeah, one resource here. That's part of it. Uh, and then what, sorry? Do you need allies no. ready for this fight? You're good? Even no, no. Uh, this one I only need to hit for six total. And that is... Right... Oh, this guy's three. This guy's three. That's done. Six. Okay. Whack. Okay. Get out of here. And then I'll discard two cards from my hand to heal two from air. Whatever. Sure. All right. Done. 
ready everything up. Pass first player token. Raise threat. Going to 38. 30. Resources. Draw. And we can ready everybody, yeah. Everybody can ready. Yeah, yeah, that's not that's an effect anyway. Right Bow hammer. No more allies. Uh oh. Okay. So we know three's coming off the top, then we'll need to reshuffle. Uh so who knows what it is. But it won't be at least it's not gonna be a treachery. At least the first one with surge or something. Or but did he have surge? No. No surge on him. Alrighty. So let's go with what am I doing here? Oh, I should ready my attachments. Okay, let's give two resources here. Going to five. Yeah, Emmy, I shouldn't have killed him. I should have left him engaged with me because that like works with my whole thing. But we didn't realize it was going to. Yeah, it's fine. We did what we did. Happen. I know I shouldn't have him come back, but he will get a shadow card next time, so that would be horrible. But now he's gonna have more attack and a shadow card. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. I think we should have kept them. Okay, I'm gonna spend five to play this guy who can Glorfindel, who can be played from my discard pile, and he has an action: discard a card from your hand to ready him. I can just take this back, right? Yeah, yeah. That didn't really change much, right? I could just leave him here. Yeah, let's just leave him here. We'll pretend we never killed him. I am fine with it. Yeah, yeah. That's easy, easy rollback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy rollback. Okay, then I will spend one, and I will take the event out. Also <laughs> allow me to draw a card. A lot of unique cards I cannot play. Do you smell that, Mel? Is Jacko here? Oh. Is Jacko sneak in? What are you talking about? Jacko back there. <laughs> Is Jacko hiding back there watching the stream right now? Uh, <laughs> Dinked in late. Hope Rob doesn't notice. <laughs> okay. uh, you're busted. All right. Hey, hey Jack, how's it going? Uh, Michael says, nice thing is if you keep picking closest to Rob, eventually it'll be right. Eventually. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. <laughs> I have lots of cards to discard for things. But I want to only discard... Oh, I can discard attachment. Uh, let's discard to give a resource here. An attachment that buffs this guy. And then this guy says that uh, after... One or more cards are discarded from your hand. Draw a card. Limit once per round, so that's done. Okay. I might do that. Alrighty. Uh, I'm done. Questing. So let's quest here with her first. I discard a card. So right now... Oh, is this going to happen? Yep. So you get rid of this. And it goes to victory. Victory display. Oh, let's just call it our victory display. Okay. That is... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, two, four, six, eight. Eight is there, and we have no idea. Okay, I'll add two. I'll add two. Okay, sixteen. Do we think that's enough? No, I'm going to add two more because I'm scared. Yeah, I want to make sure that we... We're going to see some of those encounter cards that bump us out again yeah. and stuff, but... Yep. All right, let's shuffle this bad boy. I do have a test of will, so if we get a bad encounter... Or... Bad one revealed. Oh, okay. Nice. I was worried about the surge ones. Did you take that token off of there? Yep. Okay. Oh yeah, because you took it back. Never mind. Here, cut it. First card. Drowned dead. Second card. Steep plateau. That location. Oh, that's helpful, right, for us now. Not bad. No surges. No. Knocking guys around. Only added three more. All right. So eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. So we're up seven. We're good. Seven. So no threat raising. No. Nope. Uh, let me do a quick poll for travel. Now that we have four Let's options. Card for that. Four options. It's gonna be this one. One. Two. 
three, four. Okay, I put a poll in the live chat. Uh, vote, can... vote for which location we should travel to. We have no idea what's going on under these. You could add two to one of them, but we still can't peek at it. Yeah, but, but it'll that... be based on what. So you need to find those cards again to attach now, because now is 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 really important to peek, right? Because mm. we're digging. Yeah. So vote for which one we should travel to and oh. find out what it is. We have no idea. One, two, three, or four. Instead. We're trying to find that hidden shrine or whatever, right? We could have put five in as well. We could no. do four, but that wouldn't let us peek at one, wouldn't it? Oh, okay. Uh, but we can't do that. I have too so late. It's, to it's totally fine. I just rewound to the discard to discard this because I can pull this out and keep digging. Maybe we can you save this till if we're still having found it, it's down to like two left and we haven't peaked. Oh, yeah, yeah. To really try to eliminate option. Or if we peek at one and we're down to three to look at the last two that are left. Yeah. I'd rather not just peek at one random one right now because that still doesn't answer. And then if it shuffles them on us and oh. adds a new one, because that could happen. Yeah. I'd rather wait till it's like down to the final choice that could make the win is take this. Yeah. Okay. That's well, I will I put do. progress based on what option is not chosen here. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm closing the poll. Thank you, everyone that voted. Hi, Yogi. Oh, we have a tie, a three-way tie. So number one is not being chosen 100%. So out of these three, <laughs> I will roll a D6. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three. Okay. Is it the one? Not the one. Not the one. Forbidden Coast. After it's flipped over while active, each player may draw a card. Then each player chooses one card from their hand and places it on the bottom of their deck. Yes, I will definitely do that. Yep. The Favor of the Valor. Okay. I'm going to take this one that lets me shuffle my deck. I don't know, though. I like this. This could draw me cards, which I probably should have done again. I forgot Fall Hammer. Ah, so annoying. I keep forgetting that card. Uh, just goes to the bottom of the deck, right? Yeah, I think our my my threat's fine. I'll just put the same one I just drew. Okay. What oh, phase? and the cost of it's three, actually, which is oh, good. Oh, that's good. What phase are we in for a second? I'm like, total, we're travel. Still, oh, we're in travel. Action okay, after so traveling or whatever. Okay, yep, that's fine. I just want to make sure. Okay. Now, engagement. Are you okay with that guy too? That's what I do. Okay. I do have Sentinel on this guy. Oh, sure. He has bought, uh, three attack, so, or, I mean, three defense. Oh, no, I don't. Never mind. I moved it now. It's an event. Too much manipulation. Okay. Oh, I will do this though. Add two. Defend for two against this attack of three. Discard the bottom card of your deck. If that card's printed cost is two or less, exhaust the char a character you control. Well, we know that it costs three. And does it discard it? Oh my god, it's gone. <laughs> this game is trolling you. Awesome. <laughs> trolling. I know, but I should have known that. I put it there. It's fine. <laughs> I don't need it, I think. Did that guy take damage? Uh, One damage. I got it. Okay. This guy attacks for four. Oh, man. I don't think it'll kill a hero, right? I could ready this guy. He'll get plus one defense. If you have nothing else to ready and you do not yeah. care, sure. I'll just ready this. But then he might die because... Well, I'll, no, I'll take... I have an action here, right? I'll heal him one. Sure, sure. Whatever. Uh, sure. I can still heal him one. Okay, so we got a plus one defense. So he's defending for three. Nothing, so he gets hit for one. And then I'll heal it. Next heal it again. That one. Okay. Two heal. Now attack time. This guy needs five to die. So let's just attack with these two. That's five. He's gone. Now this guy. I'm just going to leave him, I think. I think you could kill... Oh, you don't want to have any? I don't know if there's going to be XP for keeping him in the game. Or XP for how many little tokens he's left. Yeah, probably by having right. a three tokens there or something. You're right. If you're handling it, then we can try. Yeah. I think... Next one, we'll be able to look at this. Yeah, I'm going to keep him here. Thanks again, Emmy, for that. 
uh, question for that one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll just keep them. Okay. Good? Yep. Guarding my hand. Ready up. 31. 39. That's the first player token. Did you use this action? Yeah. Oh, put okay. it in there. I just wanted to wait for the poll. Then draw. Nope, there's gather information. A little late. I could use it. All right. Oh, faux hammer again. <laughs> faux hammer, faux hammer. Oh my god, I forgot. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, Faramir, how's it going, buddy? Oh, the faux hammer would have let me. Oh, I wouldn't have drawn into faux hammer's last card. Never mind, never mind. I would have drawn these three, and then this one I draw the start of the turn. So let's put the horse on here for two. So when I defend an attack, I can ready this guy and discard a shadow card from another enemy, basically. Also, I did get another almanac. Uh, so that's good. Faramir. Can't afford you, bro. Do you, what do you need a resource? Yeah, that's could fine. Aragorn no, help? No, he can't. Oh. He's useless. Oh, he's the only one I can give a resource to. I can sneak attack this guy though, possibly. But anyways, um, I was gonna put this in the stadium here for the lulls. Okay. Do you want to do this now? And we can look at it. Just to know. yes, absolutely. Okay. Curse temple. No, this is not the one. So. So number yeah, this yeah. Until we have to shuffle them, we'll kind of like remember that one. Yeah. Or we can put like a little die on it that we know that one. That is not the one. You good? So any, which one did we take before? Four, which was like in here? Yeah, it was the middle one that was yeah, here, right? Yeah. So anyone that voted number two, you're wrong also. <laughs> Just to be clear. Just to know that. <laughs> so, oh, uh, yeah, four could still be correct. And one could still be correct, which nobody voted for one. So I have a feeling that's where it is based on how my chat usually uh, helps me out in games. Mm. No, I'm just joking. Very helpful. I'm just kidding. All right. Uh, okay. And uh, I think I'm good. Okay. I'll attach an almanac here. Oh. Yep. yep. And then we're going to pay. Oh, well, let's get some extra resources here. Then we're going to spend two. For a harp, it's restricted, restricted. So we have two restricteds here. That's okay. And then we're going to Four. spend one to take this event, <laughs> allowing me to draw a card. Oh, look at that. Okay. Then I'm going to. Discard a card from my hand to add a resource to someone's resource pool. We'll put it here. One of four. Then this says after a card from your hand is exa uh, discarded, exhaust this to return that card to my hand. So discard, return. After a card is discarded from your hand, draw a card. Uh, this guy, I already have him in play. He's non-unique, but I don't need. He does get the bump if I don't discard any more cards. Okay, done. <laughs> Sorry. Questing. Okay. I want to choose this as a quest card. Okay. Okay. And I'll put in two because I have an enemy gives me. Uh, what do we have in there right now? We have seven. Seven. We want to clear this or six. This is a four. But then we can, if we put four on here, we can also re reveal this. Yeah. So, so we'll kind of I we want to go. go hard on this one, I guess. Oh, so then let me do one more thing then. I'll just spend two on my turn if we are going heavy. Okay, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Okay, three. I can discard a card from my hand. 
to add two here. So your seven, so 10, 11, 12. Put a lot in. 13, 14, 15, 16. Exhaust them all. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, <laughs> 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, I think, I think, <laughs> I think 25? you're okay. 25, but hold on, I want to, oh yeah, yeah, 25, but I just want to do one more thing. Uh, because I can. Well, actually, hold on. Do this to ready this Four, guy. Eight. Uh, so eight, 14. 16, 17, 18. So 21 would be nice with nothing coming out. So. Yeah, so I'm good to put two more. Yeah, yeah, go nuts. That's 27. He's in, but he's ready because I sure. prepared a card. And this guy. So you have the number accurate? Yeah, 27. 27. Yep. All right. Surge is going to happen. Each player must either reveal an encounter card, raise their threat by X, or deal X damage to them on characters they control. I'll deal damage. I'm going to deal the damage. Actually, put one here. Okay, uh, the surge is into players of the group must remove characters of the total uh, at least two. Oh, staging areas, uncharted locations is three now. Three? Okay, I'll remove three. So the players as a group must remove three from the quest. Okay, this Done. guy's three. And now this is relevant. The first player may give aimless wandering doom two to look at the face down side of an uncharted location in the staging area. I am going to do such things. Okay. So Doom 2 means we both go up by 2. I'm going to 41. 33. Honor threat. And we're looking at this one. Mm -hmm. Just a little peeky peek. Not, Not it. It was number one. You so guys. it is this one. Everyone that voted in the poll, you all suck. <laughs> you all suck. <laughs> You're working for the bad guys. Okay, now we know. You're all living in Mordor. So now we don't need to do this. That's good to know. And I'm above 40, but I have nothing that really cares about being above 40 right now. But yes. Okay. I'll eventually draw no, some No, but now cards. that we know that, now that we know it's here, that saves us. Yeah. So we don't even need to care about this No, now. we just, we just, okay. But I think we have to do one more card because that surged, didn't yep. it? Yep. One more. Oh no, it's a soulless cadaver. Haven't seen this one yet. Oh, your deck cannot be searched? While soulless cadaver is engaged with you, your deck cannot be searched. Force, when Solus can ever engage with you, place each card in your hand with printed cost two or less on the bottom <laughs> of your deck. No! Oh, that's so funny. Okay. So, so we have 24. What do we got going on here? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. So we're at 14. So six hits here. Yep. Uh, or okay. four hits here. This is gone in the victory display. Mm -hmm. and then, then this gets cleared. And when this gets cleared, after the stage of the feed, each player may search his deck for one card, add to his hand. Each player shuffles his deck. Okay. So we both get to do that. Yep, this is correct. What do I even want? So pick something juicy. I need something I can play now because I'm going to lose it. I'll just grab Gandalf because it's funny. I don't know. I don't have anything. So. Oh, I could do faint. I'm going to do faint. Um, oh no, when this guy engages me, it's gonna screw me on that. I gotta pick more expensive than two. Yeah, I'll just take Gandalf. I'm sure another card will make me lose Gandalf. I'll take an Elven Light. And I'll shuffle my deck. It was the one closest to me, actually. Number one. Like I said, number one, closest to Rob. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what the? <f> <laughs> We're all traitors. Yes, exactly. Mel has like every character from the Similarion out. I'm assuming right? there's a lot of characters in that. Yeah, there's a lot of characters out. <laughs> did I do this? I don't know if I did. I don't know. You do whatever. I don't know if I did. Discard a card. Oh, we're just doing it now. Yeah, I can do it now because after we resolve the quest. So I do it now. All right. Travel. Uh, Yeah, we travel here. Yep. Okay. Whoa, look, it's the oh, one. Shrine of Morgoth. Five threat. Eight 
Quest points, ruins. While Shrine of Morgoth is the active location, players cannot draw cards or search their decks. Oh. Good thing we just did that. Uh, forest after Shrine to Morgoth. Sorry, Shrine to Morgoth is flipped over. While active, exhaust each ally in play with printed two cost or less. Flipped over. Hold on. Then each player must search the encounter deck and discard pile for an undead enemy. Put it into play, engage with them. Shuffle the encounter deck. Exhaust each ally in play with printed cost two or less. <laughs> you. Okay. I just lose one. Cause oh, good thing all those other guys died earlier. Okay. Show me all your two. This guy's gone. Yeah, just with these two. Everyone else was already pretty much exhausted, anyways. Oh, it's just exhaust. I thought it was oh. uh, discard. No, it's just exhaust. Oh, it's not as bad as I was thinking. <laughs> I was like, I thought they all just die. Like, I thought they're all dead. I was like, that's a cool way to clear up the board. But no, it's just exhaust. I can ready some anyway, so I guess that's So each player must search the encounter deck and discard pile. I'm first player, I'll go first. What are we searching for? Just an enemy? Yeah, undead. Undead, okay. Uh, I'll just pick this guy, the four attack guy. Maybe like a weak guy. Uh, Hatchment. Oh, this guy Yeah, guy I'll just do a drowned dead. If you want... Here, you can look at these ones. Let's take those. Uh, are your options or yeah that's really it uh let's try to discard the bottom or... so surge won't happen yeah I'm but uh it, any if it says if it engages you stuff does okay i think i'll take this one <laughs> i think it's fine okay Surge doesn't happen he doesn't hit hard mind you I can ready this guy. He'll be defending for me. Michael, thank you for the super chat. Still better than three hours. Uh, still better three hours than the Hobbit movie. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no. Ouch. That's awesome. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh I did need one of these guys ready. Dang. Hmm. Put this guy down. Are you... Okay, okay, I guess... Alright, so that was travel. So we must get through this, and it needs to be in the victory display for us to win. Oh, it worked. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. You I fixed still... it, Michael. But I didn't hear it, though. I did. Oh, you did? Yeah, that's how I knew it works. I heard Oh, okay. Weird. Yeah, that's All right. weird. Didn't work for the subs. Thanks again thank for the you. super thank, chat. Thank you. So something was down for sure, and it's now working. Awesome. It worked. Yeah, it worked. You, you fixed it. Okay. So we can't draw from our deck, and we can't search our deck. But I can dig in my discard. Okay. Okay. So you are first. I engage this guy. He's coming to you if not. I don't know what defending all this, but yeah, I can possibly ready some stuff too. So yeah, okay. Uh... I even have here nothing, and then one for me, please. Oh yeah. All right. Um. Mm. Oh, I could do it once per phase. I'm going to defend oh, here yeah. for three. Discard the bottom card of your deck. If it, that card's print cost is two or less, attack enemy gets plus two. Oh, God. So it hits for five. Three gets blocked, two gets through. He is one health away from death. Uh, after attach your defense and attack, exhaust this horsey armor or whatever uh, to ready attached hero. Then discard a shadow card from another enemy engaged with the defending player. Um, I'll discard this one. Ooh, very nice. Okay. Um, now this guy's just straight attack number four. Can't defend here, he'd die. Um, I, if I heal. let's just defend mm, here. 
So two will get through. Actually, no. I can heal, remember. Yeah, yeah. I'll defend here instead. So this guy has three defense. So one gets through. He's two away. Oh, actually, he's four away because he's got extra hit points. This one, uh, I'll defend here for two. Nothing. So one gets through. Also, he engages you. Oh, I forgot to do this. When he engages you, place each card in your hand with printed cost two or less on the bottom of your deck. Yeah. Uh, these should have been on the bottom. I keep forgetting for him. Uh, so, it wouldn't be this one that's discarded technically. So, I'll just throw whatever. I'll throw them like this on the bottom. And then this one would have went sneak attack, for example. Still would have done the same thing. Whatever. Okay. Okay, that my attacks are done, your attack go. Okay. I'm just a beating here. And ready this one. And that one, that's enough, yeah. Let's use that to ready this guy. I should have done sneak attack and all before okay. engaging this. Yeah, I'm definitely playing sloppy. All right, so let's defend here. There is an attachment on top of my deck, so he gains plus two defense. So he's defending for three, attack of two. Nothing, so he takes no damage. That's good. All right, attack time. I'm going to unexpected courage. Ready, Aragorn. Okay, attack for four. Uh. This guy attacks for three, so seven. Yeah, let's oh, just... the forced effect on the soulless cadaver. Did he kill anybody, though? This one. Yeah, I got that. The oh, card's on oh, the bottom. Oh, behind. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I caught it. I caught it. We fixed it. Yep, yep. Uh, okay. And then... Uh, yeah, let's just kill the cadaver, I guess. Do you have guys to attack this guy? Yeah. I won't pull him then. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you attack him. Yeah, he'll be dead. Yeah, yeah. And but... you don't want him to go back on top of the deck, and he will for sure with your. Oh, okay. With your deck, I uh, don't know what's on the bottom. I of the can't line. attack anyone else, so I'm finished. Alrighty. So then these two will attack for five here, and then when he's destroyed, discard the bottom card of the engaged player's deck. If that printed cost is two or less, return him to the top of the encounter deck. That's what, what does X, X mean. I think it's probably like the same as a zero. So we'll just put him on the top. Ugh. What's his... So now it's an event, so this guy doesn't get Well, that. at least you know only one threat's coming to the staging area for that. Oh, oh but he was Surge. Oh, no. Oh, that's why Because I... we need to quest super hard next time for this. It's fine. Um, and then I'll just spend two cards to heal twice. You can heal twice. Okay. Done. Done. Oh, we can't draw. Remember that. We can't draw. What? This lets us not be able to draw, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Players cannot draw cards or search, search their decks. Damn. All right. Yeah, so I'm just going to play yeah. out of my discard pile. Okay, ready, ready, ready. Oh, this is cool. Ready, ready, ready. Ready, ready, ready. Pass first player. Raise threat 42. Resources, I have at least two, so I get an extra resource here. And another one. And I don't draw. And That's first, fine. Right? Okay, let me just take a peek. See I got Juicy Boys to play, so we're good. Play. These ones I don't want to play because I can't draw. And then... I think that guy is... This guy is unique, so I can't play another one of him. Okay. So I will not play anything. All right. I'll spend five. Gandalf, blow this guy up. Then four. 
for Faramir. Requesting power. Requesting. Do it. Three, four, five. Like we can just go all nine. in here, right? Like. Ready. Nine. She'll get discarded, but that's fine. Nine, ten. Oh, she doesn't have to discard. Do you have to test the wills in your hand? I have nothing in my hand. My hand oh, is yeah. discarded at the end of my round. No. Three, four, five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 20, 20. Open in 20. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 more. 10 more? Yeah. 30? Okay. We have five in here. And we we know, need eight here. And we know one is coming with a but surge. But it's, it's surging. Yeah. So we got one yeah. surging into a more three. Surging, not surging, just the last card is. When revealed, each player must exhaust the character they control, or each lost island in the staging area gets plus one threat to the end of the phase. I'll exhaust the character. Yeah, so will I. Mm, this one. So now in the staging area, we have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, 30. 21 left. We only need eight. Boom, it's in the victory display. We win. Winner is us. GG's. Mm. We made it through the jungle. All right, let's read. That was a fun one. Yeah, that was cool. Exploring the Uncharted Island was exhausting, but it was the onslaught of the faithless undead that made the company's travels truly perilous. Making their way deeper and deeper into the island, they'd finally come to a building of note, an imposing shrine tucked into the side of the mountain. As soon as they crossed the threshold of the shrine, they felt the presence of something dark and evil. Tapestries and statues faded and ruined from years of despair, depicted the evil Morgoth as a great and powerful being. We in Gondor know the tale of Numenor's glory and downfall, that, in the dark days before Numenor's destruction, many faithless Numenorians worshipped Morgoth. Whoa, show spoilers. Spoilers for the Amazon show. Whoa. Uh, okay. Uh, Lord Calfon explained, examining one of the foreboding statues, this must have been one of the temples erected in his worship. They searched the shrine extensively, but ultimately it proved fruitless. With many questions unanswered, the company began to lose hope that the shrine was their true destination. Wishing to continue their exploration of the island, they began to leave, but Calfin insisted they stay. Wait, we mustn't go yet. I, I remember this place, I think. He ran his hand along the far wall, as if attempting to remember the secrets the stones themselves held. I remember the sound of a hammer upon the anvil, the heart of a forge, or the heat of, a for, of the forge. The company looked amongst one another with the concern, approaching Calfin cautiously. The nobleman's eyes were closed as he placed his ear upon the wall, listening closely. Lord Calvin, one of the heroes said after a moment, placing a reassuring hand on Calvin's shoulder. The nobleman startled as though awaking from a dream, and he turned towards the heroes with a shocked expression. There's something here, he exclaimed. He walked several places, several paces to another section of the wall and placed his hand on the stones. To the company's surprise, the stone gave way, and the wall opened outwards as if upon invisible hinges, a door leading into a hidden passageway. Wide-eyed and wordless, Galfin entered the passage, the heroes close behind. The corridor was narrow and dank. They soon found themselves descending a flight of steep stairs deeper into the darkness of the temple. Finally, after many steps, they came to a small chamber with a raised altar in its center. Two candelabra candelabras stood on either side of the altar, ancient and unlit. On the altar lay a large key of black iron. A key, Calvin said, taking the key in his hands. A puzzled expression upon his face. I don't understand. I sought the answer to this mystery. But all we have found on the island is another riddle. Perhaps the elves of the Havens will have the answer. One of the heroes suggested, with no sign of matching a matching lock anywhere on the island, the company made their way west to the coast. 
So scenario three will be next episode. Difficulty level eight. Oh, Whoa. we're ramping it up. Whoa. We're playing full easy on that one. All right. Fair? Yeah, I'm down. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to crush us right on the Gray Havens. Okay, so... Now my favorite part, let's flip this card and see what's going to happen on the other side with experience. Yeah, they should have... Or the resolution, I should say. Resolution, gain the following. One XP for each surviving player. That's two. That's two. One XP for each lush jungle and drowned graves in the victory display. Probably zero, because those don't sound familiar. Oh, yeah, we have one drowned graves. So we got three so far. We have drowned ga graves, forbidding coasts, and shrine to Morgoth in our victory display. So just one. Okay. That's fine. I know, I'm just looking. Okay. Uh, one XP for each resource on this card. So that was, if we oh, did keep cycling him. that was good. We were, I was right, we would have got some XP for that. One XP if, if each surviving player's threat is 40 or less. Oh, oh I'm at 42. Oh, I'm at 34. Damn Dang it. it. I should have picked Gandalf's threat reduction instead of him <laughs> killing that one guy. Oh, we didn't know. Oh, come on, game. Dang it. And then minus one XP if Ominous Fate is in the victory display. Which not. So we get three. All right. Three XP. So we're at five so we're at now. five. And we'll save it. And we'll talk about it at the start of the next one. Because if it's sailing, I'll probably want to put it into some boats or upgrades if it lets us do that. No, I agree. 100%. And if it's not, then maybe we... I don't know. Oh, that didn't give us Spyglass. So that's probably going to show up again. Hmm. But I don't want to invest in it if it's not, and it was only for this scenario. I don't know. That's tough, because we've never played through, so we don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm maybe assuming... that's why it's different options, so that maybe if you don't need to put progress on locations, you could look at shadow cards and stuff like that. Or different... Yeah, like, hopefully it'll show up again, but I'm not investing it until I know it is. So So I'm not totaling this, just so you're aware. I'm just putting each, unless you want me to total it as we go, but... Like, should I be adding and then... XP I'll... unspent should be at five right now on our okay, current line because we, we haven't spent anything. That should be accurate. Okay. But you should put in the column what we got from the scenario. I did, I did. Okay. Yeah. So we'll have a running cow, you know? Yep. So it'd just be, it'd be two in this box and, and then, then five. five in this box. Oh, yeah, like, you need to that, Yeah, you don't need to race anything. Okay. Okay. Is there a bonus for forgetting to play Foe Hammer multiple times? <laughs> yeah. 10 XP bonus. <laughs> Yep. 10 XP bonus. Yeah, for some reason that card, just streaming and playing, I always forget it's in my hand. <laughs> but when I'm playing the game not on camera, I'm always looking at my cards. But when I'm streaming, I'm looking at the chat, I'm looking at what Mel's doing, I'm looking at this, I'm looking at all over the place. I'm thinking about other things, I don't know. I always forget to look at my hand when I'm attacking with it. And uh, yeah, and I did it, I remember before when we played on stream, I forget that card all the time. Uh, I love the card. I literally played with that card when it first was released. It was in my decks right away. I remember way back in the day when it came out. I feel like that card was in one of the Saga boxes or something. Bowhammer. Like one of the Hobbit boxes, maybe. And I remember, it's like, I can never forget it. It's like Gandalf art, obviously a sword. Uh, the best artist in all of card gaming, Magali Villeneuve. Uh, the French artist. Uh, amazing art. Love all her art. It's all great. Game of Thrones, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings. She does all the best art. FFG uses her for tons of stuff. Amazing art. Amazing art. She's got a ton of Magic the Gathering art too, by the way. But yeah, go look her up. Go look up her whatever art pages and Facebook pages and whatever. All amazing stuff everywhere. Um, but yeah, anyways, never forget this card. Amazing card. Do I remember what's in my hand though? No. Not when I'm streaming. I don't know why, why I do that. I even think about it. That's why I played the whole weapon right away. Had it in my hand. I was like, yes, I'll get tons of card draw. Drew another one. I'm like, yes, more card draw. <laughs> Kept forgetting. I could have rolled it back and been like, oh, I played it and whatever. But it's funny that the game was like ripping it from my hand. I think it was hilarious. It's punishing me. There's one on the bottom. I'm going to add this steed back to my sideboard. Yeah, yeah. And we'll see what the next scenario will yeah, yeah. You know, if I want to bring it out. But I'm just. We're not going to look at every card in the scenario. We'll just get an idea. So if it's yeah. a boat scenario or it looks like it's like. I just saw the jungle uncharted deck. So I was like, Mel, you might want to think about your deck. Yeah, because no, we're helpful. definitely it's going to be jungle heavy here, like location heavy. I think that was super helpful actually, to be able to clear some of the, um, yep, some of the locations faster. Yeah, it was neat. There you go. That uh, was scenario two. So stay tuned. Scenario three. I don't know when we're going to do it. Uh, maybe later this week. Maybe on the weekend. Uh, but the best way you cannot miss it is subscribe. Turn on notifications if you're already subscribed. 
Uh, crank them all the way up so you get notified anytime we go live. And you can just swipe it away if it's something you're not interested in. Or click it and join the stream, you won't miss it. Uh, and if you're subscribed, you'll show up in your subscription feeds. At least so you can find it later. Uh, if you're watching this right now, and it's many days or months or weeks, months, years, whatever in the future. Check the playlist down below in the video description. You can find the next episodes there. Uh, what else? Thank you again for the Super Chats today. Thank you everyone over here for supporting the channel. Much appreciated. Thank you for the 29 likes so far. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Much appreciated. Uh, what else, Mel? Anything else? No, I think you got it all. Yeah. Thank you so much, everyone. I want to spend XP so bad, but it, we, but we I, can't I yet. agree with you. We don't really know where we're spending it yet. Let's wait and see yeah. and try to guide it based on the scenario. Like, how different would it be on a second playthrough, playing at, like, normal difficulty, building decks for it, and then knowing what some of the XP things are to try to make them happen? Yeah. We, we should have known like that. Like, to maximize. We should have known they're all things that, like, you got to, like, earn them. They're hard side things to do that might make you lose the scenario if you actually try to do them. Um, but I thought you were correct with that guy holding that guy back, like having no because I did tokens. it based on the last one was the same thing where if that ship was like dealt with and in the victory display, like if we actually took it and fought it, which is like you want to avoid that at all costs if you're trying to win. But if you want some XP, you got to do the the hard things to earn the XP, mm -hmm. which is cool. It's crazy because we could you could have killed him and like you, we purposely left him there. But it's oh, all this good. guy too, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's all good. But I might not have seen him back enough times even to get him. We needed to see him earlier, so. Yeah, true. Ultra Violetta said at the start of the book, there's nine scenarios in this uh, campaign. So we're done two, seven more to go. And assuming we don't fail any that we'll have to replay on a separate episode. So it should be a nine episode series. Um, and maybe on a weekend we fail quickly and we just like scoop it and replay it again in the same episode, which might make it longer. But just, yeah, pay attention to that. Hey, Matthew, how's it going? Gandalf saying, don't call here anymore. <laughs> All right, so yeah, uh, and it's not the only campaign we could play. Again, we have Agmar Awakens, we never finished. Could always go back and tr attempt that one again. And I like these decks, they're working good for yeah, this. Yeah, I like these decks. Mine is fun. Yeah, yeah, so I don't know if like there's some tweaks to keep some of the cards from this campaign to go back to that one and, and not have such a struggle, even on easy mode. Uh, that we were having again. We're playing with the limited pool. I feel like if we go do it again I'll pull from the whole pool of cards we own. Yeah, so we can get some busted decks going against it uh, To make up for our lack of skill um, But maybe after playing this one like and getting it back into the swing of things, right? I just remember that was so challenging. I played this, those scenarios multiple times. We yeah. practiced them off stream multiple times We put it on the easy mode. We built decks from the revised card pool only Try it again. I tried solo. Try a two-player. I remember just struggling. It was still so tight. Um, but yeah, th that was for fun. Also, we have the second saga to play through at some point. So we'll see. We'll see. But we have Arkham stuff we could play too when that finally shows up in Canada. Still got delayed again for like the fourth time. Uh, again, it got oh, pushed back again. I... It didn't come out on April fifth. Yeah. So we were That's... supposed we were supposed to get the Hemlock Grove or whatever it's called uh, campaign box in Canada. We got the Hero Box. But the, the campaign box has been delayed, I think, four times now. So it's, it got pushed back another week or two again. I don't know what's happening with that. Same with the uh, Marvel Champions uh, Age of Apocalypse expansion has been delayed too. I see people complaining in those groups. I see people complaining in the Arkham Horror groups. But yeah, it's just being an FFG fan in Canada. It's just the way it's always been. We always get messed around. I don't know. The distributors can't fill out customs paperwork properly. I don't know what it is. But anyways... We have other games to play, so I don't care that much. I don't need the new, latest, greatest. I have many, many games we could play from the past. Uh, and, and that's the way we all are probably... Maybe we'll get it by October. Yeah, I, I'm okay <laughs> with playing it in October, too. That's fine. That's fine. We got lots of Lord of the Rings to play and uh, other, other games, too. So, Anyways, thank you all for watching. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Uh, don't look directly in the sun, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.